Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. For those of you who are following the, the Kahim Paris game, you guys must be wondering how, I, how I'm just starting it, but I just found a live stream to the game, so now I'm watching it. It's almost half an hour gone in the game, but it's over an hour left, so I figure we could still do this. Hi guys, hi. You guys must be wondering how am I just starting this watch along? It's a watch along to Kahim Paris in Slovenia. I, I, the, the match is almost half an hour. It's almost half an hour into the game, but I am just finding a live stream. Right? Just, just, just finding a live stream to the game and it's over an hour left. So I figured, you know, we could still do this. Right, I was trying for a while to find a live stream to this game. Finally, I found it. Finally, I found it. So guys, um, Kahim Paris' team is currently losing. They're down a goal. Unfortunately. Okay, guys, we're just taking in Kahim Paris in Slovenia. So Paris's team is losing to a team called Olympija. Right? Paris on the ball right now. Plays it back. And Copper play it back all the way to the half line. He's playing on the right hand side of what appears to be a front three. Olympia on the counter. Ball into their box. It is cleared away. Olympia retain possession. Guys, it's a watch along to Kahim Paris. Yeah, man, Primo, what's happening? Boy, Primo, I start the one here really late because I just started and a half an hour into the game. I just find a stream yeah, to man, the, Primo, the match. Happening? Just find a stream to the match. Just find a stream to the match.
Paris was trying to get on the end of a through ball. By the way, you guys, you can find it on his goal. Go on his goal and you find, I mean, look how long I know about his goal. I'm going to go on his goal and I never yet see the Slovenian league. So apparently they have the game on there right now. So you guys can go on his goal to go check this game out and we can do the watch along together. Kaim Paris was trying to get on the end of a, an area through ball a while ago, but the defender got a touch to it. And, you know, kind of took it out of Paris's path and guided it to the keeper. He almost got there before the keeper, but the keeper got there first. It's a throw in deep. In, in Coppa's defensive third, on the right-hand side of their defensive third. But the play trickles out for a goal kick. So Olympija is the opposing team, and Kair, um, Kahim Paris' team is FC Coppa. And they are currently, half an hour into this one, they are currently down a goal to nil. I'm very happy that I've, I'm, I'm getting to, to see this match because I have not seen Kahim Paris since he has made his move to Kappa. Unfortunately, I have not seen, it, seen him play. So I'm very happy that I am getting to see him play right now. Ooh, an in-swinging corner kick. The Kappa player. Headed it on goal, but it was an excellent save. It was an excellent save. All right, guys, smash the like button as you guys come in. Again, I have to apologize for the late start because I was desperately trying to find a stream to watch this game. Couldn't find it. I was trying for a while. Finally found a live stream about almost half an hour into the game. And I decided I'd still go ahead and, and do this watch along. Link, please. Please. You know, um, Primo, me not, me not, it's on hesgoal.com. Just type in. I don't want to pin the link because from what I understand, YouTube might have might have issues with it. So I don't really want to put, put the link. You know, all right. Man, man, let me know. Go on hesgoal.com. Go on hesgoal.com. And if you guys, if you guys find it, just just give me a thumbs up in the in the in the chat if you guys don't find it i will paris comes away with the ball now paris helping out in defense yeah man if you guys don't find it man man primo riches if you guys don't find it if you guys don't find it on his goal let me know and i'll pin the link but it's on his goal.com if you guys find it let me know in the chat just give me a thumbs up. Just give me a thumbs up. Guys, Kahim Paris, watch along. His team is currently a goal down. As I said, I have to apologize. All right, cool. Primo, I want to go in and chat still there in a Primo. You put it in the chat, Primo. <laughs> because me not, me, I don't know if they will I hear from what I understand they kind of have a, they kind of have issues with links like that being dropped in the chat. So that's why I've never really done it. All right, cool, cool. But me not see it, Primo. I don't see it in the chat. I don't see it in the chat at all. Hesgold.com, guys. Hesgold.com. 
His team is currently down a goal to nil a shot from Olympia from about 20 plus yards out straight at the keeper. Earlier on, we see Paris drift past a brother. Man, man, and, uh, man, man, and everybody in the chat. Hit me in the comment section and let me know if you guys have found it on hesgold.com. He is on, he is on FC Copper. It's FC Copper versus Olympia. So just look for the Slovenian, the Slovenian league. I don't, if memory sir, I don't think you have to scroll too far. I found the site, but a lot of matches. Yeah, man. Just scroll and see, until you see the match, man. Currently, there is a pause in the game because um, a player is down. Yeah, man. He's on, he's on, he's on FC Copper. It's FC, it's Olympia versus FC Copper. I think that's how you're going to see it on the, on the website. Just let me know if you're found. Yeah, man. So, so Mr. Primovision put it in the comments to someone. And again, I must apologize for the late start, guys, because honestly, I was trying to find a stream to this match for a while. And about 25 minutes into the match, I finally found a stream so just smash the like button as you guys come in guys free and easy way to support the channel so kahim paris's team is currently down a goal but there's a break in the play I am very happy that I am that I have found a live stream to this game because ever since Paris moved, I saw games with Paris in the second division, right? But this is the first time seeing him in the Slovenian first division, right? And I really, really, really wanted to to see him in the Slovenia first division. We're still waiting for yeah man, no problem, Richies. We're still waiting for the 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 game to restart. The the player is still on the ground. Well, he has gotten up now, but he seems to be in considerable pain. Forty-one minutes into this one, guys. Yeah man, Richies, cool, cool. As I said, I've known about this site for some time, you know, but. I've looked on there for 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 for, for um, these games before, and I I never found it. So I didn't even bother look. Is one man just say, you know, check out his goal and see if them start bringing the the Slovenian games, and you know, check it out and found it. All right, guys, so play has resumed. Kahim Paris on the ball now, twisting and turning. Lays it off to a teammate who took a shot on the edge of the box, from the edge of the box. 
but it goes just high it goes just over the bar Kahin Paris is playing on the right hand side of a front three he picked up the ball just on the edge, edge of the box and played it to a teammate more centrally Guys, for those of you who want to know where you can find the match, you guys can check it out on hisgoal.com. Kahim Paris's team is making inroads down the left hand side of their attacking third. Shot on goal. So the winger played it more centrally from about just out, about 20, 20 something yards out. The player decided to take a shot. However, it was a relatively comfortable save. A relatively comfortable save for the goalkeeper Karum, bless up boss bless up bless up bless up boss and again i must apologize for your man and i must apologize for the lateness of the stream right in terms of we started it late because i had difficulty finding a live stream to watch the game but finally i found it it is on hisgoal.com right so you guys can check it out on hisgoal.com All right, it's, it's, it's almost half time. Shata is the first Jamaican watch along for a Slovenian game. Yeah, man. First that I know of. <laughs> yeah, man. I've wanted to do live streams with Paris before, but, you know, you have difficulties finding. Um, I wanted to do watch alongs to his game before, but you have difficulties finding the games, man. Shut us the history. <laughs> yeah, man. So right now, Paris's team FC Coppa is currently trailing in this one. Trying to establish a foothold in this game. Excellent turn. Some good link up play from Olympija in the middle of the park. You know, honestly, watching this now, big up Tottenham, big win over Manchester City today, it showed that position without penetration now in football formula. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we saw it in even the Aston Villa game as well. That position, but they couldn't penetrate because <clears throat> they had the lion's share of position in that game 60 percent, and they still couldn't penetrate Watford. All right, two minutes extra time, two minutes extra time in this one for the first half. Yeah, man, hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. Thanks for that, Karum. Karum, you're watching the stream or you're watching something else and listening to this? The stream, it's on hesgoal.com if you are interested. All right, guys, that's it. The first half is finished. The first half is finished. 
Kahim Paris's team is down a goal. We're doing a watch along to Reggae Boy. Dean Aston Villa FC, welcome back, boss. <laughs> Guys, Dean L Dean um A V F C Dean Aston Villa FC. Did I say Dean L F C it's Dean Aston Villa FC? He is an Aston Villa fan and he's very excited about about Leon Bailey. If Kevin De Bruyne played the full 90, it would be a different outcome, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, Kevin, Kevin is just recovering from the, the injury that he sustained in the Euros. So guys, it's half time in this one. Half time in this one. Um I started watching the, 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 the match at around 25 minutes in. Right, because you know, I, I I was trying for a while to find the stream and couldn't find it. Finally, I found it. And truth be told, you know, we haven't really seen much of Paris in it so far. Paris has been, you know. I don't know, Shatter. One second, Javan Cleary, man, the member Sally and Bailey never want to play for Jamaica. He went to Belgium and England FA before signing here. I don't know if he went to, to Belgium and England FA. I don't know about that. I know that he, his agent was giving out sound that he was eligible to play for both. Right? And, uh, you know, there is some debate as to especially England, there are some debate as to whether or not he was indeed eligible to play for England. I don't know if he went to England, uh, to Belgium and FA, England FA first. I personally think there was a lot of bluffing taking place in that situation. I think, I personally think Leon Bailey had every intention to play for Jamaica. That's, I, I mean, I can't speak to one subjective intentions, but that's how I feel. By the way, Javan, how oh, you just come out of this left field, so where did this come from? <laughs> where did this come from, Javan? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Javan just come with this. Is Kaim Paris expected to play against Mexico? You know, I, I, we could do, we could pick the squad later on. You know, if you guys would be done with that, you know. I really and truly, I, I don't think he will be in there. To be honest with you, even though he's doing well in Slovenia, I don't think he'll make the final team. Should we carry a grudge at Javan Cleary? You hear that, Javan Cleary? He's asking if we should carry a grudge against Bailey. As I say, I just think that whole situation was one big bluff. I just think that that, that whole situation was one big bluff. I don't think just... From an objective standpoint, as I say, I can't speak to one's subjective intentions, but I don't think he had any intention to play for those countries. And it has been reported by credible sources that he was not eligible to play for England. So I don't know, man. Bailey wants to sign for Man United. He supports them. I must say I noticed him look very miserable on the bench yesterday. <laughs> Well, players like that don't often sit on the bench, Dean. So uh, any any player worth them salt would be a little bit disappointed that he's on the bench. Here a man as a Bailey, King Bailey. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Hey, I only for Jamaica's not not leg off of that, you know, when Craig Butler was saying that. The player eligible for play for Belgium and England, you know. If I'm not mistaken, don't don't take my from how I understood the situation, I could be wrong. From how I understood the situation, Bailey was not eligible to play for Belgium at that particular time. But in due time, he could have been eligible to if he had waited, he could have been eligible to play for Belgium. Right, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but that's how I interpreted that whole situation. I don't think he was eligible to play at that particular point in time. But if he had given it some time, eventually he would have been eligible to play. That's how I understood it. So I could be wrong. 
I have nothing against him still, you know. Yeah, man, him, um, Giovanni's saying we mustn't hold a grudge, man. Typically, Villa beat the Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool last season, finished 10th. And now this season, after buying superstars, we are playing terrible, making them think we are a poor club. Didn't you guys finish 11th last season? Wasn't it 11th Aston Villa finished last season? Or it was 10th? Yeah, you guys, you guys should have tried your best to, to keep a hold of, of Mr. Grealish. That's why he didn't. Is Slovenian League a good league better than the USL and JPL? Of course, Shata. Of course. Especially better than the JPL. And that's no offense. I mean... It is my league and it's my country's league, but we have to be real. The JPL, the JPL has some way to go. I'm happy for the assist. Me too, man. Me too. Big ball about him can't make the team. Which which team, Javan? Which team? Well, who? Which player are you talking about? Bailey? Bailey can't make the team. Which team? Which team are you referring to, Mr. Cleary? The name of the site is Hezgoal. Hezgoal.com. Hezgoal.com. H-E-S-G-O-A-L.com. It's currently halftime over there. So that's where we're having a little chat, but it's currently halftime. Paris is Paris's team is losing. They are down one goal to nil. One one boss, big up man. Thanks for being here. Yeah, man. One one, we're watching it on hesgold.com. So apparently, hesgold.com now brings the Slovenian games. I don't know if this is the first of many, or I don't know if, if you know, they're gonna continue doing it. I don't know, but Bailey with Lakaku, De Bruyne, and Hazard would be sick. You think Bailey would have started over Hazard now, though? Well, Hazard plays good for Belgium still, you know. Hazard plays good for Belgium, so. Might not be having the best time where club is concerned, but. The name of the site that FC Copper game is on. Yeah, man, here's goal. Here's goal, boss. Here's goal.com. It's currently half time over there. Shot and not a very good league. In my opinion, but a couple of good teams in there and definitely better than the yeah man. I mean, it's not a Norman Campbell is playing in a better league, in my opinion, in the Serbian league. It's not the best league, but especially for a young player trying to get exposure in in Europe. It's a it's a it's a decent league, man. And last season, I think it was Domzale. I think Domzale did beat a team in England in Europe last season, you know. I think they beat, I think Domzale, which is a Slovenian team, did knock out a team in out of the Europa League. Or did beat them last year. A team from, from England, the Premier League. I mean, it, it, it's not the best league since sliced bread, but it's a decent league, especially for a young player. Javan, you think Leon Bailey could make Belgium team? I disagree. I disagree. Leon B there's debate. It's a, a, he wouldn't start. Probably he wouldn't start. They'll probably use him as a sub. Most team, there's rarely a national team in this world right now that I don't think Leon Bailey could make it. Based on in terms of right now, based on what he did in Germany last season. There's, I mean, yes, they are national team. I mean, I don't see if Bailey was eligible to play for France. Obviously, I, 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 I don't see making the French team. It would be very difficult. But I, I could see Bailey making the Belgium team. Yeah, man, Bailey could make the Belgium team. He probably wouldn't start. He probably wouldn't start, but he could make the squad. If he was, if he was eligible to play for Belgium, I think he would make the squad. 
Dean Aston Villa FC, 10th or 11th, we had the longest unbeaten run and the best defence in the league and beating full-strength Liverpool teams. And that, no, we are not just losing, but we are playing so, so bad. Yeah, I mean, I said it on my channel. Aston Villa without Jack Grealish has not looked very convincing. I don't know if it's a coincidence. I don't know what it is, but Aston Villa without Jack Grealish has not looked um, convincing at all. I think Jack Grealish made a lot of those players around him. Not saying that the players on Aston Villa aren't good enough, you know, but I think he made them look better than they actually were for large portions of last season. That's just my opinion. We're waiting for the second half to restart, guys. It's still half time over in Slovenia. Still half time over in Slovenia. By the way, it's a nice little stadium that I'm playing you know. I mean, Kaim Paris must feel really good about himself playing in those kind of stadiums. He definitely, for the most part, wasn't playing in those kind of stadiums when he was out here. Not seeing it on, on there, okay. Yeah, man, yeah, man, he, it's on. Let me tell you, go on hesgold.com and look for Olympija versus FC Copper. Right, it's a number of games on hesgold.com. So you might take a little while. And I don't even think you have to scroll that far, to be honest with you. You'll find it, man. You'll find it, boss. You'll find it. Javan Cleary in Kamek, Belgium. Yeah, man, I don't know. I agree with that one there. I agree with that one. I think he could make the Belgian squad. One one. Oh, one one. I thank me for the hesgold stream. Let's go look like they carry everything these days, you know. Let's go looks like they carry everything these days. The man is a nice little stadium them playing in, man. I mean, it's not a huge stadium, but it's still a nice stadium nonetheless. A far cry from what is out here, what Paris would have been playing out here in Jamaica. Stadium, um... Paris now play in a stadium football in a job. For the most part, he never there play in a stadium. Mostly park football. <laughs> nice little stadium, man. I was referring to Mr. Java. Okay. How? Over who? I think he could make the Belgian team, man. I think I mean I'd have to sit down and I'm I don't remember everyone that was on the the the, the the, the Belgian team. Wasn't Thorgan Hazard on it too? Nobody can tell me that Thorgan Hazard is better than Leon Bailey. I don't think so. I mean, they, they play in the same league. Well, not, not anymore. But I think, I think Leon Bailey is a better player than Thorgan Hazard. Even though Thorgan Hazard is a good player, don't get me wrong. He's a good player. Any Jamaicans in the Slovenian league making the World Cup qualifying squad? You mean you mean for Slovenia or for Jamaica? What do you mean, Shata? For Slovenia or Jamaica? All right, so guys, it appears as if the, the guys see Paris on, on, on screen right now. We're in the number 10. The teams are back out on the, on the pitch. Bailey could have ended up as a stat for Belgium. <laughs> I disagree. I think he could make that Belgian team. You guys think Carrasco is a better player than Bailey? I don't think so. And Carrasco is a good player, but I think I think I think a lot of the times people people think about Leon Bailey's performances for Jamaica and think that he's trash. And completely forget that this guy is balling in, was balling in the Bundesliga. I mean, you guys saw how well he played against Watford in the Prem on the weekend gone yesterday. Bailey would not make France, England, Brazil squad. Yeah, man, there, there are a few Italy squad. There are a few, there, there are national teams in the world that he could not make. No doubt about it. 
he could not make the friend squad, I don't think. Um he would be he would be in the mix to make the England squad, but it would be sticky if he could make it. It would be a tough one. Depends on what the manager would want. You know, but he, he would be in the conversation to make the England squad. Brazil, I don't think he could. Italy, it would be a tough ask as well. But I think he could make the Belgian squad. All right, guys, the match is restarting now. Bailey can start if... <laughs> Bailey... <laughs> All right, guys, the, the, the match is back on the way. The match is back on the way. So it's 1 0. Kahin Paris' team is down a goal. Paris on the ball now. That's your boy. That's your another one. <laughs> Whistle on the play, foul on the play. Kaim Paris was fouled and he was a little bit upset by it. He got the mm, guys, Paris is balling. Paris just dashed your bread a while ago. Right now, you know, it seems as if Paris is a star in Slovenia, you know, because even though I haven't watched him so far this season, judging by his stats and also what people are saying who have seen him play, good layoff from Kahim Paris. Kahim Paris at the edge of the box. Good through ball. The player plays it into the box more centrally. It is cleared by Olympija. England manager makes so many wrong decisions. <laughs> yeah, man. So, guys, as I was saying, judging by the highlights, even though I've not watched, this is the first Slovenian game with Paris in the first division that I'm watching. But judging by the highlights, judging by stats, and judging by how I see, like I see his picture on the website for the for the, the official website for the league and stuff like that, it appears as if Paris is you know, gaining some popularity in Slovenia. You know, in the first three games, he made the, the, it's a corner, you know, like, it's a free kick. A good look way outside the box. Crossed into the box. Terrible, terrible, terrible set piece. Yeah, man, he, so out of the three games he has played in Slovenia, he has made the team of the week twice. And he has scored three goals in three games. If I'm not mistaken, he's the leading goal scorer in the league. One man of the match in both games as well, guys. Kappa are back in it. Kappa just scored. Kappa just scored, guys. Kahim Paris' team just scored. They are back in it. It's one all now. It's one all. It's one all, guys. So Kappa is back in it. I think Kappa, Kappa want to chase. Kappa want to give Europe a chase this season now. Alicia, um, I don't want to drop the link for the game in the is the game you're talking about. I don't want it was a by the way, it was a good shot in the boss cut in pan him left. And released a shot from about 20 yards out. Cut in pan him. Well, the, the shot came from just outside the box. Right, far bottom corner of the net. Yeah, man. Cut inside pan him left and kick it with him left. Far right hand corner and um, bottom corner of the net. Yeah, man. Um, guys, so Alicia, I don't want to drop the link. In the in the in the comment section, the, the link for the game. Reason being is that I think YouTube might have an issue with it. It's on his goal.com. Paris is on the ball again. Driving through Olympia's middle. Paris need to leg off for the ball though. He's being fouled a lot because Yama yeah, may have fouled. Oh, 
How are the box with you said to me, Brian? <laughs> me afford, Brian, me afford. Paris had that session boy now, but Paris had hold on for the ball too long. Me afford, Brian, me afford. Kappa attacking now, Paris on the ball again, let it run, but he was not aware of the player in behind him. All right, guys. So Paris team has, has clawed their way back into this one. Bailey is better than Werner, than Werner. A Werner or Werner you pronounce it. Sanya and Ganabri most recently. He could make Germany. Bailey better than one or two wingers on every big club and national team, no questions asked. Bailey could make a lot of national teams in the world, in my opinion. I don't know if he could make everyone, but there are a lot of national teams in world football that Bailey could make. A lot of national teams. You guys need to watch out for Birch and Trier when he has a good game. <laughs> They play good ball this league, can watch. Yeah, man, it's a decent league, Prima. I'm watching it, and it's a decent league, man. It's a decent league, man. Ball into the box, Olympia. Player takes a shot from just inside the box. Oh, W is pronounced as a V in German. Cool. So it's Werner. Paris need for leg off of the ball. Though. Paris, Paris thinking my name are in a Slovenia, you know, guys. They tried to switch the play for looking for Paris out wide, but never got to him. All right, guys, cup on the counter now. Bursting forward, Kahim Paris on the ball. It is two verse three on the counter. Paris cutting inside. That's your boy. Oh, God, Paris. Paris need, Paris, Paris need for kind of circle down doing a guys. Paris made the wrong decision a while ago. And Paris should have looked for the pass instead of trying to go for glory right there. So what happened? Him choppy, him chop the the the, the Olympia defender. Start cut inside, then him chop him again. Went on his outside and then tried to release a shot for the far corner, or for the far post rather, to 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 try and squeeze it in um in the the far post. But it was a wild shot and it went wide. And it was the wrong decision from Paris. It was the wrong decision from Paris. Paris does not look bad though. Yeah, man, he not look bad at all. What do you know about Louis Graban? I know he's eligible to play for Jamaica. I know he played for Bournemouth in the English Premier League as well. <clears throat> I think he's in the championship now, if I'm not mistaken. He was a player that was heavily linked to Jamaica over the years, but you know, one of those heavily linked, but never came. If I'm not mistaken, he wanted to rep Jamaica. If I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, though. Because that, that was some while ago, and, you know, it was, it was a while ago. So I don't remember the story fully. Yeah, man, Paris does not look bad. He doesn't look bad at all, you know, but I think him, I think he's, 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 him kind of get a little bit carried away. Him, him a broke too much, man, and a, and a chop too much play, and a 
lift bar pile boy and a flick ball over boy head and <laughs> people in a stadium man people in a stadium it's not many though probably they have covid restrictions And probably is something that is, is sound effects to you know. Shut up, probably is sound effects. All right, guys, 55 minutes in this one. He might play full, full football. Oh, Paris. Man of Steel, what's happening, man? Where they are taking some car in Paris. We're not here, you know, Brian. We don't know something wrong with the audio, Brian, but we're not here, you I ain't a mute. Yo, you hear me, bro? Yeah, man, me I hear you. Yeah. Me I load and clear now. <laughs> yeah, man, me I take you much more. <laughs> yeah, man. Me happy to me get the stream. Me happy to me get for my final stream to it because. A long time more to Paris in Slovenia, first division. Oh, well, I'm on the ball a little bit too much, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what I feel like I'm a star. But it's like them give my free road still, just doing thing. It appears so. It appears so. Paris need to kind of simplify him game though. When him got to a bigger league, him now can't, can't walk past the ball of them so easy. In picture with the ball in the box. Ooh, excellent defending. And shoot be told the Olympic player took a, a long, I mean, the shooting channel was open down the Barca. The Barca each and a twitch. Olympia were um copperad at Paris's team were a bit lucky on that particular play. Smash the like button, guys. Free and easy way to support the channel. Because when the man sets a bomb and cut the team back inside, the man should have just released the shot. Yeah, man, wasted chance, man. That was an easy goal. Copper get a little bit fortunate on that one. Paris with the header to his teammate. Trying to get them going on the counter, but Olympia retained possession of the ball. The play. The ball goes out and it appears as if it's a... It's a what, corner or a goal kick? Oh, it's a corner for Olympia, so the pressure is still on copper. Kappa gets it away, but only goes to an Olympia player. Paris, Paris putting some defending on all of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has done so on a couple of occasions in this game. You know. He has gotten back and helped out in defense. So that aspect of his game is good. That aspect of his game is good. And we're happy that he has the discipline to do so, but kind of need to simplify him game a little bit more. Yo, what do you think about the forward line? 
qualifier? In terms of if it's good? No, they will argue for Ashikis today, you know, brother. <laughs> you mean argue? No, yeah. argue, argue. Sure, I'm back in the mix. No, man. In a Turkey, Turkey second division, no, man. Why never? No, man. A first division, man. A first division, no, play. No, man. I'm in a second division, I'm a play, man. In a Turkey. You yeah, sure that team may just. All right, I'm going to look it up again, but I'm tell you, I did do the story on it, you know. I did do the story on it. I look it up again, though. I look it up again. I look it up again. Yeah, man, a second tier, second tier. Yeah, man, a second tier, man, a second tier. He never did a stitch in a chick when he did in a first tier. But he scored a good amount of goals, bro. He never got double digits. You know, the first tier, no, man, last season, last season, Argel, they are, they are 30. I, I think I won goal him stitch in a nearly 30 game. Argel, they are going with nothing in a 30 last season. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear, but I mean, I don't want to say, argue. right, I mean, look, I respect Argyle, don't get me wrong, but right now, I think he kind of look bigger than him. I do respect him, though. And he has had some decent performances at Jamaica over the years. That's just me still, but uh, man, I still seem like him is a fan of, of, of Argyle. Um, really, but he's not a bad player. Yeah, man, not Burke, Burke, in my opinion, is like Argyle 2.0 right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe if maybe, maybe if if you never have Andre here, probably Argyle would get a look into it because my type of player in a sense. Yeah, yeah. In swinging corner for Olympic Jack up under some pressure, they head it away for another Olympic Jack corner. So, guys, this has been a period of sustained pressure that Olympic Jack has had Kahim Paris's team under. Another in swinging corner, Kappa get it away. However, header back to goal from the Olympic Jack player. Is collected by the goalkeeper. It went straight to Kappa's goalkeeper. So a, a period there of sustained pressure from Olympija and Kahim Paris's team. Kappa. So Copper Brink making some substitutions now. I can't tell you much about these substitutions because I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> this is the first time I'm watching the Slovenian first division in terms of with, with Paris and Paris's team Copper. This Olympia team though that they're playing I mean, they have been the better team for a majority of the game. Kappa has been on the back foot for the majority of the game. Oh, one, 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 say I'm not watching the, 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 the stream. I think RJ should have had more caps, but he can't make it now. Yeah. I agree with that one, one, one. Think it kind of look bigger than him right now. Another in swinging cross into the box from Olympia. A copper defender. 
edited back to safety, back to the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper collects. Kappa has been under, Karim Paris's team has been under a sustained period of, of pressure. Brian, what do you think about the, about the Slovenian league where you see of it so far? Think it's a decent league? It's a decent league, man. You know, I'm used to watch it when boys are playing up. Mm -hmm. The um, boys are used to play for Dom Zali. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I think Paris, he signed to that team between all of them alone, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. He never, he never make... Yeah. You think big? Where you know about bigs? Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too much about him, you know. You know about mm. the team when you're racing still, you know. Because mm. they play a poor man in Division 2 or Division 1 or whatever league, yeah. But I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe Slovenia is the new market now for our players to go and then push off in Europe. No, no. Yeah, but if it can be better than the USL, <laughs> it is a better but, prospect than the USL for young players. Yeah, you will get more eyes too. And, and it's easier to progress from Slovenia than it is to progress out of the USL. Um... Formula Sports so far score out of 10 for Paris. Um Paris has not been Paris has not really had many touches in the game per se. He has not been very involved in the game. The times that he has gotten on the ball though, I mean it's mostly trickery and some fancy footwork, which is all well and good, but there are some times when you know he could better decision making and his part could have put his team in a better position um i'll give him yeah, a seven yeah, 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 I give him a seven still because he has he has gotten back in defence and has tried to help out in defence on a couple of occasions. So I give him a seven. One thing, one thing though, I kind of, kind of appreciate the transition we made from. I mean, giving that how he used to play when he was playing school football, he used to just play on the ball alone and stuff. Yeah. But it, it's a him putting a lot of effort in a improvement defense inside and the game. I'm not perfect but it's far better than it was when I used to see play for detail yeah. and camera and stuff. Yeah. Yeah Paris was always branded as lazy. He was always branded as lazy. Yeah, looks yeah. a little bit more though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, 68 minutes in this one, guys. In swinging free kick from the left hand side of Olympia's attacking third. But Kappa get it away. It's a throw in on the left hand side of. Kappa's defensive third, and it's a throw in to Kappa. Kappa has been under a sustained period of possession. You need to get the ball to Paris, man. Paris look like he need to come deep feet because he has been kind of zoned out of the game for a while now. Guys, in our comment section, Dean saying prefer popcorn over my father. <laughs> guys and I come here we at the football and the guys them reach uh, popcorn and coffee and my father. Shout out to Pamela has two popcorn up plates for his channel. Really? I have popcorn up plate? Boss, me can't afford popcorn up plate. 
Oh, where me I go get the money from for the popcorn for the play? And shout out here, sponsor. Yeah, I must sponsorship. I must. I don't have to shout out a link. Shout out to me. I'm not even. From, I'm not even saying one popcorn double plate. You know, the man said two popcorn double plate. I love to know me would afford a popcorn dog plate. Okay, if decision making is a problem like that, he needs to improve before consideration for us. You know, I just think it's probably him getting a little bit carried away. One one because him probably because look, he might dash up players left, right, and center. Every time he has gotten the ball in this game, him dash with somebody. See? He might flick ball over over man head and all of them things. So I think his confidence is just really sky high right now. I think him just believes, say, yo, oh, him can walk past the players in this league. Probably he'll be a little bit more disciplined when playing for us. Who knows? Because he gave him give one brother on a wicked pile earlier on in that game, in a Brian. Just lift it over head, you know. So. Yeah, mama, see, man. And it's it, it never necessary. It really never necessary. <laughs> yeah, man, that's just a Jamaican in him, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, say. Shout out, thanks for the super chat, boss. Support for a popcorn dub plate, boy. <laughs> boy, shout out. I want it more super chat, I forgot drop shot. You know what's your popcorn dub plate? You look on popcorn, ask popcorn for your dub plate in a popcorn, good literally a million. A million Jamaican hour, just shy of 10,000 US, probably like 8,000 8, US. A whole heap of money for but thanks to the super chat nonetheless. Shut I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. What's the live stream link? Jarvit, it's on hesgold.com. The match is on hesgold.com. So I'm gonna be checking out his goal a lot more because his goal look like them bring literally every me think sports bay did bring everything, Brian, but it look like a his goal bring everything now. Yeah, come and check out up on sports bay. I mean, never see it, you know. You never you know depend on sports bay. Sports day sports bay has never never brought a, a Serbian game or a Slovenian game. The only time I get to see Norman Campbell and his goal and and sports bay rather is when he might play in a Europe. And other sides may have to use for, for, for watch um for watch Norman Campbell. By the way, Norman Campbell played today, you know. But he'd watch piece of the match, you know, but he never had upon the field at the time. He came on a little bit later on. Blair Turgot's team lost today as well. You know. Blair Turgot is on a sinking ship. <laughs> Poor Blair Turgot is on a sinking ship. Needs to. He needs to make a move from Asterson because if he's not careful, he will be playing in the Swedish second tier next season. All right, 74 minutes gone in this one, guys. Hold on, let me just see a notification come up on my phone, you know. It looked like Kappa has scored, you know, but our stream is a little bit behind. 
Come on, pop us for I'm Norman Campbell's game earlier to the finish, Nila. Ball out to Paris on the right hand side of the box. Boy, Paris, that's your boy. Box for Paris, lick the post. All oh, right, Paris guys. Yeah, Paris, Paris, would I get the hit? Paris, would I get the assist for now and the evening? Lick the post. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Are they would I call it a pre assist or something like that? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so sure, but guys, Kaim Ka Paris was very instrumental in that one, guys. Very instrumental. So, what happened was a switch of the play, right? And they found Kaim Paris in some space. One touch him, take and beat the player who was trying to track his run, right? Look at this man. Excellent switch out. Of, no, lie. Him settle it first. No, lie, lie, lie. One touch him, take and just knock it past the player. Right on the right hand side of the, 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 the box. One touch him, take. Knock it past the player and cut inside. Right. Try that left footed shot to try and beat the keeper at his near post, but it hit off the post. It beat the keeper, but hit off the post. Right. And, and the rebound went straight. To a copper player who had an empty net. So, guys, Kahim Paris, instrumental in that goal, guys. Instrument, yeah, man. I guess you for dash your boy now, Brian. You're not supposed to cut back for your flick boy over, or, or flick ball over boy head. Uh, no, a good touch, a good touch, a good touch. You take the yeah, man. Time, so. yeah, man. A very good touch. The 22 Abala, see him send the pass to Paris. Oh, yeah. I him switch the play out wide now. Me that like for the Paris get that goal is still in a butt. It will, hey, that would be a wicked goal in a man. If Paris did stitch that goal in a man, it would be a wicked goal, man. Paris balling in Slovenia. A dash your boy left, right, and center. Guys, smash the like button for Paris. I don't know if they would would they list that as an assist though. That's what I would love to know. Would they list that as an assist? Let's oh, check, check, it on, check it for the stats now. Check it for the stats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm looking here and I don't see. I'm gonna see. All right, Paris, Paris making inroads down the right again and the, right just inside of the, the box. Ooh. Paris could have done better on that occasion. All right, guys. So I'm not seeing right here who, who is getting the credit for the assist. I'm just have the goal scorer right here. Let me go somewhere else and see if I can. Copper seem to find a way though to win football games. And it seems like so far, Brian, it seems like it's Paris is the way. <laughs> Yeah, man. Formula, give me a few minutes so far. Yeah, man, yeah, man, no problem. Yeah, no, nah, jump up, just so far. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, cool. Yeah, man, Kappa, he, I mean, Kappa has been second best for most of this game, you know, guys. To be fair, Kappa has been second best for most of this game. But they're current, they came back from behind, clawed their, their way from behind. You know, and now they are two one up. Ricochet off the post is an assist. That's what I want to know, Shatter. 
That's what I want to know. That I am not too clear about. Right? But the fact of the matter is, Kaim Paris would have been instrumental in that goal. Right? And, you know, every time we have seen Kaim Paris touch the ball in this game, he has had the beating of his man. Right? We see one player step to him, the player get dashed away. We see another one step to him, that player is, I get dashed away. He's breezing past players in this football game. Right? I do think that there have been times when he has held on to it a bit too long and he has gotten fouled as a result and stuff like that. Or has probably not made the best decision when deciding to take on a player. Or not making the best decision when holding on to it too long. But still, man, if it's one thing, he, he, I mean, he seems to just be drifting past players in Slovenia. And this is what I've been hearing about Paris, that he has been drifting past these players. Kahim Paris again receives the ball midway, his own half. Finds the player making the overlapping run outside. Paris gets the return ball, puts it inside. That was a way, what, what, what was that? A shot or a cross from the player that Paris made the pass to. That's good to hear. People said he is playing Brazilian futsal like he's getting extra points to bend up people though. Yeah, man. I agree, man. He needs to... Olympic on the attack. Ooh. Shot from on the edge of the box, guys. Shot from the edge of, just on the edge of, of Copper's penalty box. Excellent save. That was a very good save. It was heading for the far corner. At the far post, he was on the left-hand side of the, the Copper penalty box, the Olympic player, when he took that shot. Copper holding on on that particular play. It's still 1-1. Copper making it roads in. Ooh, what an easy goal. Merciful father. The, the in road, a, a player got a, got a ball in behind. The Olympic the defense, the, the, the game has kind of opened up a bit, guys. And the copper player was in behind and made the cross. Right? And if only the copper player making the run inside the box could have just gotten a toe poke to it. That would have been game done and dusted. No, he actually he actually turned the player, you know. So he got the ball just in front of the last defender you know, and turned brilliantly you know, and used pace to beat him. Right, cut inside the penalty box. You know, crossed it right in front of, right across the face of goal and, you know, it just eluded the copper player making the forward run into the box. Please don't think Villa are poor Man City. I've spent one billion pounds in three seasons. Brought great bought Grealish for 100 million and already lost a cup final and Man City losing first game today. <laughs> Bye. This game has opened up a, a fair bit. Guys, for those who want to know where you can watch the match, you can see it on hisgoal.com. Does Barca and Real Madrid spend more money than Manchester City? You know, I don't think so, you know. Manchester City spends a lot of money. A lot of money.
cross into the box on the right hand side of Olympic as attacking third. But keeper came and collected relatively comfortably. Well, he actually he spilled well. He spilled it first and then he he, he, he he you know cleaned up his own mess. Right now Kappa needs to Kappa needs to 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 realize that their game plan is to get the ball to Kaim Paris in a man. They need to get the ball to Kaim Paris. Because whenever Paris on the ball, Paris can clearly make things happen. He just needs to be a little bit more disciplined with his decision making. Ooh, Olympic are coming close on that occasion. So Olympic just seem to be targeting the right hand side of Copper's defense. A uh, 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 cross, fizzed across, or uh, fizzed into the box. But the copper defender would have headed it out for a, a, a go a corner kick rather. Corner kick into copper's box, however, copper got it away. A wild and loose shot from distance, you know. That 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 was never going to be a, a, a problem for the copper goalkeeper. All right, guys, 86 minutes gone, about, about four minutes plus extra time in this one left. Kahim Paris' team is currently leading 2-1. Um, Paris was instrumental in the second goal. Very instrumental in the second goal. You know what I'm going to do, guys, when this stream, when this stream ends? We can pick who we think is going to make the squad for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. Since we have time on our hands, if that's okay with you guys. Because I know even Alex wanted to wanted us to do it last week as well. You know, Kappa has been very efficient though with their chances, you know. They haven't created a lot of chances, you know. But, you know, they are 2-1 up. Paris helping out on defence but got a dose of his own medicine. In a 1v1 situation, he was beaten impressively. The second time around though, he does well defensively. And picked the pocket of the, 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 the player. However, the ball went out of touch for throwing. Paris is helping out in defense as well, too, you know, guys. So that's very good. That's very, very good. There's one thing you can't fault him for that at all. Can't fault him for that at all. And Copper fans are in the stands now celebrating. They think as if they. The match is theirs. I don't know why they're celebrating. It's way too early to be celebrating. Way too early to be celebrating. Are these side better than our local Premier League team? Of course, Mark. Of course, no doubt about it. Easy, easy. These teams are better. Easy, easy. And I'm not saying that because, you know, I'm foreign-minded or anything like that. It's just the truth. When I look at the pace of the play, the technical ability of the players, plus the fact that you know these players are being recruited from bigger are, are being recruited, players in this league are being recruited from to play for clubs in bigger leagues in Europe. Added to the fact that these clubs in in this league have a pathway to European competition. 
you know. So they play in Europe, like the Europa League and these leagues. Sir Speed with Sir Cavaliers would give them some competition. So another play seem poor from both sides. Um, it's 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 well, it's certainly worse in Jamaica. <laughs> that I can tell you. And it's not bad. It's been a good game, I think. I don't think it's been that bad. It's certainly a higher standard. With the naked eye, it's certainly a higher standard than our local league. I think the Slovenian second division could be argued. When Paris was in the second, the Slovenian second division, I watched games with him. Paris dash with two boy. Paris with the through ball. Merciful father. Copper, copper in the penalty box, creating space for the shot, guys. It's 3 1. Paris with another assist, guys. Paris with another assist. Br Yo, Paris is balling in Slovenia, guys. Kaim Paris is balling in Slovenia, guys. Run up the light button for Kaim Paris right now, man. Run up the light button for Kaim Paris right now, guys. The game plan. Needs it's simple, it needs to be get the ball to Kaim Paris. That is the game, that should be the game plan. Get the ball to what a true pass the man, man thread the eye of a eagle. What a good finish as well! What a good finish as well, guys. Run up the like button for Kaim Paris, man. Kaim Paris with an assist in Slovenia. Brilliant work. The man dash about two players in a man. In a, at about the halfway line in the middle of the, the field in a man. In the middle of the park in a man. Barris with the second goal of the game. It is certainly done now. It was a very good counter-attack. Kahim held it up well. You know, got past two players mightily. I mean, impressively, man. In very very impressive from Paris. Threaded the eye of a eagle to get the ball to his teammate making the run in behind. Oh, is actually at the third goal the player stitch not um primo. Is a hat trick for the player. Okay. I know, I know, I know he scored the, the oh yeah man, oh it's two, it's two, it's two, yeah man, because I know he scored the second and the third goal, I don't think he scored, when I think about it, I don't think he's him did score the first goal. The finish was class, yeah man, and him did have two um, good step over to, you know, for beat the player in the 1v1 situation, you know, because the defender did well to get back, you know, after Paris thread the eye in a man. And sent the, 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 his teammate, his copper teammate in behind. The player did well to get back. In terms of he, he, he got back into the right space, into the right area. To be able to... to, to It's a third minute of extra time, guys. Olympija get one back. It's 3 2. Olympija get one back. Olympija get one back, but I think it's a little too late. Yeah, man, the player did well to get back and cover that space in you know, a man. So the player, even though Paris did, did um, send him through, the player still had some work to do. Right? Had a couple of step overs and got past the player, created some space for himself to open up the shooting angle or the shooting channel and then it was a very good finish, man. Olympija has gotten one back, but I think it's a little too late. I think it's a little too late. No defence in this game. <laughs> yeah, the two side them, the game kind of opened up a bit and the two side them did kind of lap span defence. Yeah, man, Barisic has two goals in this game.
I think they are checking it. Because, by the way, guys, they are VAR in Slovenia, you know. They are VAR in Slovenia, you know. So I think they are checking something on this particular goal. I think they are checking something on the goal. I'm not so sure, though, because it's in, it's in Slovenia. So I don't understand what they are saying on VAR. His goal, Thelma. His goal. All right. So that's it. Hold on. Oh, no. No, VAR still checking it. What is VAR checking, though? As I say, I, 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 I don't understand the language, so... Oh, offside, offside, offside. So it's no goal. It's 3-1, guys. It's 3-1. No goal. Yeah, man, it's, it's offside. Because there's VAR in Slovenia. You, know? you see the man them league fans, the man them have VAR. <laughs> so it's 3-1, guys. The player who was a judge to have been offside. That's it, guys. Game finished. The game is done. The game is done. The camera is on Kahim Paris. Paris look like him is a star in Slovenia, you know, man. Paris look like him is a star in Slovenia. Oh, yeah. Hold on. This is very confusing. I'm seeing on the screen now it's a 3-2. Apparently, the goal was given. Apparently, it was given. Apparently, it was given because they did have to... to, to... This league looks much better than the Maltese League and the USL. I think so, too. Maltese league not so bad either, but I think this is this is slightly better. Oh, it's three one. That's a glitch. No goal. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. So this game is finished, guys. Kahim Paris. Would have done well in this one, guys. Kahim Paris would have done well in this one. You know, he hit the post, which was instrumental in the second goal because the rebound would have fell to his teammate who would have, you know, had an open goal to slot it in. All right, guys. So you want us to do the, the, the World Cup squad now, the World Cup qualifying squad for... By the way, Kappa fans celebrating like crazy in the stands. They are away fans. All right, guys. So you guys would you guys want us to? Yeah, man. Future reggae boys. Unseen, big up, boss guys. Jump over to Unseen and subscribe. Big up Unseen Sports. Unseen Sports TV. Um, all right, so we were just doing the watch along to Kaim Paris. The game is finished. Kappa is very efficient. They don't get the well, they didn't get many chances in this one, but they found the back of the net on three occasions. Kaim Paris balling in this one. You know, he did well down the criticism I have of the players that him kind of hold on to the ball a little bit too long sometimes. 
you know, probably his decision making needs to improve from that perspective as well. But third match, me a pre for Paris now. Him and the left wing are the most vital players. Other day, Coley came on and scored a classic. He should be starting over the Slovenian forward. Man of the match is the is left winger. Okay, cool. Yeah, man, from a speed as play standpoint, I agree with you, Andre. I agree with you. So, guys, you guys want us to do the the um the World Cup um squad now? Do what we think is gonna make the squad. For starters, is what is a twenty three man squad. Hit me in the comment section, guys. How, how big is the squad? Is a 23-man squad? Because I heard that they were going to... to deliberate on it in terms of... you know, the number that should be in the squad. But I haven't heard anything on the on what the squad what the squad number is. I'm just trying to see if I can find information on that right now. He kind of has to hold it. Sometimes he has no outlet passes. That's why he holds it. You know, boss, I kind of... I see where you're coming from, yes, on some occasions, but there were some occasions where he did have outlet passes and the bet, like, even, for instance, the time when he had the shot and goal. But no, not the shot and goal, the attempted shot, right, that he took that, or that went wide. Truth be told, the shot was not the best option in, in that particular scenario. You know, that was not the best option. The best option was for him to make the cross. And he went for glory instead. There were two options that he had. Two passing options, either a cross or a pass um, more centrally. And in a more, to a player that was in a more central position, just on the edge of the box, if memory serves me right. And you know he 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 made the, the wrong choice. Thirty pool, do that, then cut it down to the lowest twenty three. Paris can take Walker's place. I think it's a thirty man squad to be cut down to twenty five. Okay. Paris can take Walker's place. Think it's a 30 man squad to be cut down to 25. Man's not had Pep, a big up shutter. Can you change the title from Watch Along to Squad? You know, I could. I could do that. I could. I will add I will add squad to it as well because I didn't intend to do this. It's just I got add plus um Mm -hmm. All right. So how we're gonna go about this one now? So you guys want to pick your squads in the comment section and we talk about it. And and guys remember as well to the, the link is in the chat. You guys can come on and we can talk some ball.
Yeah, man. So um, we're gonna we're gonna pick the squad right now. Our how, how, how what we would like the squad to be. You know how we see the squad. Shutter all oh, yeah, man. Do the right thing. <laughs> Add Maggie and Ravel in the midfield plus rope up front. All right. You know we're gonna do it. Sorry, the most effective player was the B. Was the B name winger? Oh, you mean Barisic? Barisic, you're talking? Uh, I mean, he did score the two goals. So, all right, how are we going to do it first? We're going to pick the defense first, right? That's all you guys want us to do. We'll pick the, 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 the defenders first. All right. Because honestly, it never, it never occurred to me to do this you nice know, while we're doing the stream. I say, you know what? Let us let us do this in terms of let us pick what we think will be our squad. My spin on the ball or something, boss. Them there, man. They hold on, hold on. My spin. One second, my spin. The link where you click one. The video is still going. The link in that video, that video that we were watching earlier, just click on the tab at the top and pause the video. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. So anytime you go on on, on somebody's um YouTube channel, you click on the link and pause the video. All right, match it now. It's a, just got it. It's on the. It's on one of the tabs, man. Let's click on the tab at the top. Just got it. It's on the. It's on one of the tabs, man. Let's click on the tab at the top. Oh yeah. All right. Hold on. The tab with the with the YouTube page where the video is playing. <laughs> My boss jump off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, when you click on the link, man, it takes you to another page. Take you to another tab. So you have to pause the video before you click the link to come on the the, the, the live stream. You have to pause the video. Right. All right. So goalkeepers. So guys, hit me in the comment section. We should do the thirty man pool. Then cut it. All right. Thirty man pool. All right. Cool. Everything's so out of my mind. Spin. No, it's, me it's try, still me still a try. Me not figure it out. My spin before my you spin. click on the link. Yeah. Pause the YouTube, Pause the YouTube video. video. Okay, so I've start. Yeah, man. As we wait for my spin, start out that one day. Yeah, man. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna deal with the the goalkeepers first, right? All right. So obviously Andre Blake. And all right, you know what, guys? Pick your how many goalkeepers we're gonna go with in a thirty-man squad. Probably four goalkeepers in a thirty-man squad. You just know, so probably four goalkeepers in a thirty-man squad. Oh, it's gonna. We're well, not hear nothing, man. Everything, everything, Chris. All right, fully, yeah, fully, fully. Somebody there, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for being here, boss. Yeah, man, big up yourself, man, and big up all the ones in the on already, man. Yeah, man, we, we, we just decided, say, initially we were doing the, 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 the reggae boy watch along to Paris, and then we decided that we're just going to, since we is early in the stream, and I normally do a live stream on, on Sunday afternoon, so I'm yeah. just going to do the squad builder. In terms sure, yeah. of... All right, but I did a follow on, man. I did a follow on everything. I mean, Raja Kona, I will really see that um, comment here. You know? yeah. Are you yeah, that? Yeah, man. I mean that, man. Yeah, man. I'm okay. an artist, man. You see me? So, oh, yeah, oh. Man, artist page. It's, it's good to finally put a, a face to that particular channel that's always commenting. Yeah, man. Me, you see me? Yeah, man. Fully, man. You used to All play right. ball to man and them things. I'm going to be a side of from still. You see it? Oh. Which, which why you used to play like what schoolboy football? Schoolboy like. football, schoolboy okay. football for Spot Valley, Spot Valley and Shetwood, isn't it? What Shetwood oh. are one of the 
top primary schools in it. Them produce Alan Atty, them and a whole heap of um, Ricardo Morris and a whole heap of other mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. All right. So we're going we're to start with the, with the goalkeeper. Them first. first of all, my spin, you have a, you have a channel. Yeah, man, I hate this man, my oh, spin on the ball. Yeah, man, I, I've seen it before, man. I've seen it before. All right. Mm-hmm. So we're going to pick the goalkeepers first. That okay with you? Yeah, man, sure. How many how many goalkeepers? The, 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 the commenter said we must pick a 30 man pool first. How many yeah, goalkeepers sure. now would I normally make a 30 man pool? Four. Like four. Four. Mm-hmm. Think four, yeah. So so who would that be your four goalkeepers? Blake, Dylan Barnes, um, Dennis Taylor, and um, White. Yeah, do you know it? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, he's young, you know, and um, he's not going to get a game per se, but he's going to be mm-hmm. there to watch the others and, and, and develop himself, isn't it? I could put Amal Knight there, but Amal Knight would limit Dennis Taylor getting a game. And I honestly believe that Dennis Taylor is kind of, he has more talent as a keeper than Amal Knight. He might not be better, but I think he has more talent than Amal Knight as a keeper. Plus he's tall. Mm. Dennis Taylor is taller than Amal Knight? Yeah, Amal Knight is shot. Amal Knight shot. No man, I'm on that. Well, me no know, me no know them exact height, but from when I see on TV, I'm on that. Look like him, him well tall man, like him so height man. I'm on that. Me have to go look again. I'm on that. Look yeah. short to me. I mean, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe me wrong, but I just feel like he's short, isn't it? Last time I see him, me no me no see him much. Last few times I see me look short to me, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe me wrong. So scrap the party, isn't it? For now. So JD in white. Yeah. I mean, right yeah, now. You can put Amal Knight, you know. Yeah, you can put Amal Knight. I mean. But um, all right. So how would you say Amal Knight is doing in the in the JPL right now? Who is better in the JPL right now? JD in white or Amal Knight? Yeah, you know, you know, to be honest, you know, you just made me realize that Amal Knight came back here. I think there was some article about him coming back here, but I didn't follow it up. Yeah, man. So he's, yeah, in, man. he's in the JPL. Which team? Mm-hmm. Mount Pleasant, I think. Uh, Cavaliers are, are my little team, you know. Although Mr. Mega start follow up Mount Pleasant. So I've watched mm-hmm. Cavalier games. Honestly, I've not seen a Mount Pleasant game since the start of the season. I do intend yeah, to, like... watch them on, to binge watch them on YouTube, though. I can't give you any feedback on Amal Knight's um, mm-hmm. doings in the JPL because I didn't even know he was was here, isn't he? But yeah. previously he was exceptional. Pre- yeah, before man. he went yeah. overseas and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I, got, man, so I, got I would I would put him. Let me reconsider. I would I would I would remove White to be honest, based on what Amal Knight showed before leaving Jamaica initially. Mm. I would put Knight. You know, I, uh, yeah, I see that logical. And his and his previous performance, yeah, he would have had a couple of performances for Jamaica as well. And as well as he played in the USL until what I don't know what caused him to fall out of favor, but there were some rumors that he didn't have the good um have a good temperament, a good attitude and stuff like that. Which I find mm-hmm. hard to believe. I, I I find that hard to believe as well. Because I watched him in a video the other day rapping, not rapping as in the, the genre of music, but talking with some other players mm-hmm. about, um, I think it was about a two go. I think it was him and Blake bantering yeah. each other about who, uh, who was the better footballer of yeah. the, the two goalkeepers. And he was he seemed very chill and everything. I don't know him well, but he seemed very chill. Anything about Amal Knight being, I mean, look, I don't know the person. I don't know him personally, but him seem like a cool dude. So, True. all right. So, these are the, the, the four goalkeepers that my spin on the ball said he wants. So, he would want to make the 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 30-man pool. By the way, um, you know, so many of you are not about Vigoro yet. 
Because yeah, I mean, bring in Vigaro. Yeah, I don't get no follow up. Just like how we don't get no follow up on somebody who have them passport. Her, um, Paris, um, Paris so so good today. Me have to call him name Johnson Clark Harris. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No man, Clark yeah. Harris have it, man. Clark Harris. Have yeah, I heard, yeah, I heard. he has his documents and thing, but um, the JFF. I don't know what kind of um um talks or if there are any talks with him and the JFF. That that I don't know. That I can't speak. To. I don't think we'll see Johnson Clark Harris. And from that's what I said, hmm, got you, got you. That's why I said. That's why I said Vigaro. I mean, why why um pursue Vigaro? And there's this good striker who is you know in the championship. Who, no, and Vigaro is a good striker. Huh? I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. I know he's a goalkeeper, but what I'm saying is both of them are from England, UK, right? Oh, oh I and, what and and we don't really want a goalkeeper right now. We are struggling with um putting the ball in the onion bag. And they might you might can say we have Antonio Roof and um Burke and Andre as well as uh Low if if he plays center forward. Um but I think personally when I watch yeah, people will always say not personal view, but it's always a personal view. It's coming from your point of view, what you see. So when I see um Peterborough play, I see Harris um Harris as like the heart of that team. Like he's the he's one he's one of the major driving forces and have, and he has all the attributes a center forward needs. So yeah. I don't know. I think we need him. All right, so those are the, the the four goalkeepers. I don't think I don't think I have any issues with this. Amal Knight is back playing football though, even though I've not gotten a chance to see him as yet. I would have seen the player play on a number of occasions previously, and I yeah. would trust him over JD White. Um, yeah, so I don't think anybody has any arguments with with this. And guys, you know, in the comment section. You know, comment and, and and let us know what you guys think about the our relative selections. All right, so up next we do are the the right backs. Who, who yeah. da, how many right backs we da? We da got so out two. probably two. Two. Two, for two, 30 yeah. man, for thirty man pool. You know, we da go with like about three for a thirty man pool. I mean. Yeah, but we kind of do want to go with more midfielders than you know, like how England made cut cut that down to to go with more midfielders than than right backs. No, actually they did the opposite. They went with more yeah, uh, full backs right. and midfielders. I, I remember there was a big controversy around yeah. that. the four. Yeah, so yeah, they they went with they went with more full backs than than they went with um midfielders. In so I would do the opposite. Go with more mm-hmm. midfielders. Is it me? So so all right, we're gonna go, we're gonna put three right backs in the in the 30 man pool, right? No so who would be a who would be a three right backs, my speed. I'm not picking Fisher, you know what I mean? I agree. <laughs> yeah, as much as I want to play ball with him enough time. You know I mean, oh, yeah, up, you personally? Know? yeah, man, play ball. Yeah, what about time with Fisher? What about time? He used to go yeah. green pond, green pond high in in Montego Bay area, and he for me he's a better midfielder. than I don't know when he started playing right back. I, that that crept up on me. But now I'm picking Al um Alva spoil. Yo, Alva look go over the other night in a man. Yeah, you would. Me just um I mean we need some right backs. Let me say West Hart. Let me pick my right back them. West Harding, Greg Lee. And um, you see, I don't really want to pick the youth from Scandinavia, Aragoni, but he has the he has Jamaican heritage, and I don't know if we are even um, courting him. So I would say, since we already started talking about Zavon Anderson, I would say Zavon Anderson, um, Greg Lee, and um, Wes Harding. I, I tired of um, Paul, and I don't <laughs> don't want to see fish on the team. And yeah, pretty much. All right. So 
So no Alva, so it's mm, so so we generate Javian Brown. Yeah, uh, from isn't Javian Brown a better centre back though? I have never seen Javian Brown play centre back in the MLS. I've only yeah, seen but, him play right back. But that's a big problem. That's not that's not because they're getting it right. Is they're just putting him there. You know, what I mean, he's he's not a right back for me. He, I mean, I put so. any player put any player at right back, and as long as they're fit and as long as they 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 want to play, they will play. But he's not a right back. He's not but a right Javier, back. Javier Brown used to play right back. From schoolboy days. W w all right. So which school you used to play for? Javin Brown. Mm -hmm. Brown used to play for KC. And that's where he played for, for KC? Yeah, man. Right back. If, if memory serves me right, he's right back. He used to play for KC. Yeah, yeah, you have to check your memory. I'm almost sure that he was a central player. If he, if he wasn't a central midfielder, he was a centre back. I'm not sure either. Yeah, no man, 100% sure. Brown was a right back for KC. All right, it, my Marshall. bad then. So, you yeah. see, I'll concede. I'll concede. Once I'm off, I just, for me though, looking looking at clips, it didn't seem like a right back. It seemed like a, a centre back, a very good centre back to me. But if you say right back, yeah, but I, don't, I wouldn't put him at right back for me though. Uh, I would put him at centre back. And and that that's the thing now, you know, because it's a tricky thing. This now because all right, all right, Jav Javan Anderson definitely has to make it, right? Definitely, yeah. definitely. Wes Harding is here as well, and Greg Lay. I I I, I think I, I personally, because I've seen the play a couple of times in the MLS, Javian Brown. I would personally squeeze him into into. But may I try to figure out who me would I take out? I'd probably take out Greg Lee because from my understanding of Greg Lee, he is a makeshift right back. He's more so yeah, he, he is. He is. He's, he's more of a left back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, so, I would I would I would I would work with that and, and put Javin in. Because I, I think I, I like that player, but I didn't see him coming in at right back for me. But since you corrected me, say he's a right back, I would I see how you can put him in for the makeshift option. Um instead of having Greg Lee there. So since Greg Lee is a makeshift, makes sense to put Javi in there in the three. So so take out Greg Lee, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, man. That makes full sense, man. That logical. He was a center back turn right back family. Oh, there you go. Bad with bad guys are correct me. I, I remember seeing the player play at KC and he was playing right back at KC. I mean, see, I don't know. See what see what I'm saying now? I saw him, man. I saw him play center back so many times. Like, not center, I don't know, but it was centrally. It was centrally. But I may, may I forget, may I forget, may I got to do some digging into that one then? Because two, two individuals yeah, well. now telling me that he was a center back turned right back. I always remember when I used to see the player at KC. I saw him play as a right back. So Greg Lee did look comfortable on the right side. Though, what I want to show you. What... You, 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 realize, you realize that he scored a lot of. You, re, you realize that he was a, a goal scoring defender? Who? Um, Brown? Yeah. In, in, in school by football? Yeah, he scored from he scored from corners and them thing there. Mm -hmm. As my, yo, yeah, normally, kind no. of you know. yeah, man. Because normally, I sent about the them thing, the man. It was a while ago. It was a while ago, but remember, my kind of wasn't he the captain? Was yeah, man, wasn't he, he was the captain? Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 man he he isn't he kind of short? Isn't he kind of yeah, short man. too? Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, man. He's sent about him that play, man. And sometimes he played in the midfield. As well in central mid RDM. I remember him a constant spring up play right back for, for, for case. Yeah, oh, let me show you something. Let me show you something, Formula. Let me show you mm -hmm. something. So, like, like for instance, uh, we're playing D Cup and you have um, a forward on our team who is the best player on our team and, and also the youngest player, Tyshan Hill, right? 
And his father used to play for Russies, one of those top Russies team back in the day. But anyways, he then, when he started to play like D1 football, he they always put him on the flank because of his father or for whatever reason. But he was a forward or an attacking midfielder at best. Then when he mm. went, they sent him to Reno. They put him at right back again. When he went to the Jamaica program, they, they registered him as a CM and a central attacking mid. But they ended up putting him putting at right back. So And he played there because he knows how to kick the ball, but he's not a right back. I'm just showing you that that's, all, that's always going to happen. It's always going to happen. Well, Brown is a right back now, and he's, I've never seen him at centre back at the professional level. I've seen him at right back in the MLS and he looks good. The player is playing well when I see him play right back for is what, Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver is a team. Mm -hmm. So all right, let, 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 let us decide this now. Greg Lee or Javian Brown? I would I, say I would say Javian you know, because Greg Lee is a is a makeshift right back. Mm -hmm. I would still put back um Greg Lee in the team anyways on the left back. Oh, side. Van Damme, left All right, we're gonna do that then. Yeah. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take out bro. We're gonna take out Greg. That's what I was just about to say. Take out Javian. I remember seeing Javian because Javian Brown, if my memory serves me right, hit the scene for KC in the Manning Cup at 15 years old. Very young central player. Yeah. I bet say you're going. I'm telling you, you know, he's a central player, man. If it's not, if it's not DM, he can play, you know, he can play other positions as well, you know. That's the thing. He's one of those players. You see players who are like um five nine, five eight. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I don't want to sound biased, but then they seem those players can fit into flank positions or central positions easier than a taller player can fit into a position mm -hmm. that they're not used to. You see me? Fair point. Yeah. All right. So I just write it down so when I lose track of it. So the right box, where's the center box? No center box, goalkeeper me did the first. Yeah. Yeah, oh, see it here. All right, so the goalkeepers was GK, Andre Blake, Dylan Barnes, Dennis Taylor, and Knight, and Amal Knight. All right, so on the right box now. All right, so we'd move. You want to do left backs first? Yeah, man. Center back? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so left back. Lawrence have to make it. Definitely. Greg by, Lee. The way, guys, by the way, guys, the likes of the likes of um the likes of the Southampton player and the Leicester player, we're not seeing them anytime soon, I don't think. So we now miss them. Well, they have to start the process to get documents first. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Lie. lie. The JFF has to reach out to them first. <laughs> no, that when I say they, I mean I feel like it's the JFF and them. You know what I mean? Together. Yeah, the, the JFF has to reach out to them first, because from what I understand. The JFF has not reached out to the likes of, of some of those players as yet. Tardy, so, but tardy. Yeah. All right. Um. So first, Lawrence. Lawrence is the first left back. Yeah, Greg Lee. Greg Lee and Amari Bell. Mm. I think the, the, the left back situation though is pretty straightforward. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, by the, it's all by right. The... Come on, got you, got you. To be honest, I would ask, I wouldn't start Lawrence over Greg Lee right now. To be honest, why? If we have a match tomorrow, I would prefer um Greg Lee start over with, with long serving. Yeah, I mean Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, because Lawrence. Lawrence need to be reminded that this is not you go on the field and do whatever you want to do. He has an attitude problem because he knows how far up in the team he is. 
You needs to be reminded that? of that by a player who can take his place. You see me? I say. Why you yeah. think Lawrence has an attitude problem though? Man, listen. I, I, I watch. I watch football for more than just watching the man, the man on the field. I watch everything. I watch mm. every minuscule thing what happened in a game. Me see everything. Is it? He have attitude problem. Is it serious? Oh, yeah, yeah, not see, not, not an attitude problem in in regards that he's going to lash out at a coach or he's mm. going. To, but you see oh, him have a. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Now. <laughs> I see what you mean. I, 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 told, I get where you're coming from. Now. I get where you're coming from. And truth mm. be told, you're not the first person that has commented on that. Yeah, man, fully man. You have had people that have have in recent times been questioning. His commitment to the program. Yeah, man. Him, but I mean, rate the baller, rate the baller, rate him. But him no focus. Just like Nicholson, them feel like them reach for a certain level. They might not brag about it, but them show it in them attitude, and them now try like to become better still. Meanwhile, let's say Damian know older mm. or as old as as Lawrence, and still I improve every game. Mm. Him need some hum- humility, brother. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. So, guys, those are left backs on screen. Um. Yeah, man. And I don't think that. I mean, that is that is basically one of the easiest positions to pick. The top three. Yeah. Um. You see, the thing with though with Greg Lee, though Greg Lee seems to have had injury issues in recent times, though. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. But, uh, but he's he, back now. Yeah. But that's by the way, guys. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the like button. Free and easy way to support the channel. Help us get the video out there even more. Um, the thing with Gregory, because even I was kind of a bit surprised that he was moving from Aberdeen to a League One side, especially a team that just got promoted to League One from League Two, right? And one of the things that they were saying is that he had problems getting into a bigger club because they weren't willing to take the risk. Because of his injury problems, so well, maybe maybe I have to go stick to music then. <laughs> so I, I think he can get over it still. I mean, I saw a thing there get got over is his long standing um 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 injury that he got at Swansea. Uh this 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 Welsh player. That was very good at left back, and he just got injured, and and they went through a rigorous program to bring him back, and they they they, they lost a lot of money on him, um Swansea, mm. and recuperate, and he didn't recuperate until they sent him down the leagues, and he and he came back up to championship. He got promoted with a Premier League club, and they got relegated. Like, I just can't remember his name. You see, you see, let me show you. Remember that Davis came from Swansea, the 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 um the left back that uh. Spurs had, yeah. All right, so there were he, him, Davis, and another left back were at Swansea, and mm-hmm. so how Davis got his game is when that left back got injured. <laughs> you see that irony? So yeah, mm-hmm. that's the left back I'm talking about. But I just can't remember his name. Go yeah. I don't know. But yeah, me just show you. But you can come back from them injured. I don't know if if um Lee will bounce back, but I I I feel like. He can, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, let's hope, let's hope. He has, he has kind of struggled in the last two seasons, I think, with injuries. But let's hope he can, you know, get things, you know, get things right. Um, Yes, yeah, 1-1, it is not complete as yet, but it's very advanced. From my understanding of it, so 1-1 is saying at the Formula Sports, it's Anderson available now with documents and everything. The process is not completed as yet, but it is oh. it is advanced. It is in advanced yeah. stage from what I understand. And from yes. what I understand, the player really wants to rep Jamaica. Awesome. Awesome. You know, like, we could have even this guy, Henry, on the um Rico. On the yeah, on the just in case list. Hmm. You see, the thing is, I wouldn't even be surprised yeah. if the hierarchy don't even know about Rico. Honestly. Who? It's... Which Henry? Rico Henry? Mm-hmm. Really? Now, I'm not saying they don't, you know. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised. Because it Why? don't make sense. Think about it, my spin, right? Think about it. 
it does not make sense to not go for the to not approach the best available place, especially those who are nowhere near the English setup. Yeah. Luca Henry is nowhere near the English setup, right? And he he would be certainly in the argument if he comes to Jamaica for best left back available to us. Yeah, right? no doubt. But, no doubt. But yes, you know, we don't hear any we don't hear anybody reaching out to the player or anything like that. Right? It's crazy. Like it's like oh we build this you know, we build this platform. We now want to say we but all of the independent people who decide to go rant on the internet until rants became nice organized channels and so forth. You see me? We think one next platform can build, you know what I mean, where we like contact the players them. You see me? Like mm. and I don't know. What we could where could I get with that? You know, we can't get nowhere with that, right? Contact the players. What where that I go? I mean, Boy, we need I'm just saying we need to have something done about this tardiness because there are so many yeah. players that we're not hearing anything about and we know them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean Cataract talk the story all the time about the, the six Jamaicans at Swansea eligible to play for Jamaica. And they only approached one. Crazy, right? Yeah. Rid ridiculous. You know, right. Latin Bear is a starter for them as well. Hear me. Hear me. I'm I'm just me, right? I'm not well known or anything. And but I know that persuasion, being persuasive is something that I can do. So all right, so you are telling me that the JFF can't find someone persuasive enough to push brand reggae boys and push project reggae boys to players of Jamaican heritage in any country and, and sell them on that without even promising them any fancy awards or anything? While I, I know think, that I can do it. I think <laughs> that the will isn't there. My yeah, spin up is the will isn't there. I don't think they want to do it because it's it's probably not in their best interest to do it. <laughs> read between the yeah. lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I re totally read between the lines. Their best interest lies lies elsewhere, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Pun intended. No joke, brother. Yeah. I mean, we'll uh, move on, yeah, man. That's a negativity. Yeah. We'll move on. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Back to positive things now. Center back. Yeah, yeah. How many how many center backs we're gonna pick? What about seven? You think for a 30 man squad, seven is good? Uh seven is too much. Yeah. Seven kind of too much, maybe six, five-ish. All right, six. Let's do six. Let's do six. And depending on how what the number is, when we boil it down, we'll add our takeaway mm -hmm. from our respective position. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So center backs now. Who would be a first center back? My spin. <laughs> By the way, Damien Low. Spin. One second. Thanks for coming on because you're always in a comment section and you never yet jump on on the stream. So thanks. Fully, fully, bro. Fair, fair input. Um. So Damien Low is the first. Damien Low. Everybody. Everybody. Um. First choice right now, e man. Let me let me give a joke. Let me give a joke. I mean, when when Damien Lowe played for Rowdies, there were no channels about <laughs> about Jamaica's football, you know. Uh, it was only Simon Preston. Simon, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Simon. I was I was I was always at Simon's throat when he was picking his team. He always called Mariapa. And he never picked Damien Lowe. And I'm like, this this man. But do you know that that would have fast forwarded past Damien Lowe's time at Rowdies. So mm -hmm. until a few 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 years ago when, when he was just um flirting around the team and his name and stuff. So till he finally finally made a team. Until mm -hmm. even about a year or two ago, or a year and some months ago, Simon would never mention Damien Lowe's name in any high stature. And and I found that with a lot of other Jamaican people. I was in groups with like some some popular like um reporter, sports reporter and, and, and personalities. And they 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 all thought that Damien Lowe wasn't a player that should be starting. Mm. And I always found it weird. 
Yeah. And, and I carried it, I carried it until today. I will be saying this again. For me, De Melo is world class. From from so? he was a teenager. Yeah, for me, bro. Like, like, bro, I watch a lot of football, you know. De Melo is world class, brother. To me, brother, like the man don't I don't know big up thing, brother. Mm-hmm. You see me I say? It's no yeah, big up thing. Mm-hmm. Remember when they met the video about um Burke and Nicholson? They say oh Burke better than Nicholson. Yeah. And I I was I commented and I said no no can't go so but eventually mm-hmm. Nicholson and my ball and Burke better than Nicholson bro. Yeah. Nicholson and my ball and I probably share the most thing about Nicholson and them thing. Man. I'm used to there was this point when I was like projecting him to show better than Bailey and I'm like when I look back into it I'm like no that's crazy. Nicholson is not even better than Burke, so it's I'm not biased. You see me? That's the point. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Your objective. Low is I watched him in in for road is I'm, I one might say oh he didn't go to a top league or some stuff like that, but mm-hmm. brother, yes, his scouts. I I didn't go to any scouting school or get any scouting teaching. But I've watched football long enough, brother. To see when time coaches pick 16 year olds like Sergio Ramos to start for Sevilla and 17 year olds and them thing there. Some coaches not going to do that because they're going to work with with what everybody's saying. Yeah. You get and and some scouts are like some co- coaches who don't work with what everybody's saying. I hardly ever see Damien Lowe put a foot wrong on a football field, bro. Like, what else do you want to see? What you want to say? And he might develop in our age where he's where not supposed to develop so rapidly at this age. He's, so, he's supposed to already meet him peak. And I, and I feel like he's not meeting peak at all. No, nah, I, think, I think he's a very good player. You know? I think he's, and I think, honestly, right now, if I was to say a top five league that Damian could play in, I would say I think he, would, I think he could start for a league one team. In league France. one? League one. League one. France. Oh, oh, of course, of course. I, I don't think I, I wouldn't. I'll be a bit hesitant to say he could start in any other top five league in Europe right now. Even though I think he's a very good player, and and and, but I, I would like to see him at a higher level first before Me I would too. Make something before I'd make a statement like that. But based on what oh. I've seen of him so far and the level that I've seen him at so far. I think he could cut it for. I think he could start for a, a French league one team. All right, I let me put it at. Team. Let me put it at. Let me put it at his international class for right now. Then, mm. you see me? Mm. Yeah, let mm. me stick it down a notch from world class. But the man is excellent, man. Yeah, the yeah. Man the man is excellent. Yeah, the, man, the man can control the ball well. He's not anxious in position. He. he, he a man in command of him, do. Let me just put it like that. He, he knows what he's doing. You see me, boy. And I think one criticism people have had of him, though, and is that sometimes I've seen over the years where he has kind of been dragged out of position a little bit by like some good link up play, so to speak. Yeah. Right? Which, to be fair to him. Especially, especially when it's quick, sharp link up play, like one touch kind of link up play. Mm-hmm. It's, it's that's not the easiest to defend against, and, right? and that's inevitable when time you have other players around you who are falling short in midfield and in wing back position. True, so you're true. covering for these guys all the time. So yes, you're out of position, but it's kind of your, it's your nature. You need to. Mop up. You need. You can't stay where you are. You're gonna. It's gonna be worse. You know what I mean? No, man. In term, when I say dragged out of position, you know, I mean in terms of, for instance, he will be dragged out of, po- of position by a give and go between two opposition players. So like he will, he will, he would make, he would step up to, for instance, to um make a tackle or to challenge an attacking mm-hmm. player and not not read the situation. And realize that a give and go is 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 about oh. the same place. Then if you know what see, I mean, I see, I see what you're saying. Yes, I see what you're saying. Yes, and and that can be particularly. I I'm, I will I will keep you know monitoring it in terms of against like the Central American 
teams because you know you know they play they like to play especially like the mexicos and those kind of teams they like to play that ticket i shouldn't say ticket yeah. but that you know those little um give and goes link up play, for that. Uh, link up play. yeah 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 so yeah but that's that that's the only thing i would li- I, i've seen with low that i would like to see him work on in terms of reading that those particular scenarios because even in the in the costa rica game you know it happened to him on about if memory serves me right on about two occasions you know luckily for him he recovered well on those respective yeah. plays but initially <clears throat> He never realized that the give and go was on right here. Stepped up to me the the, the 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 challenge, and the person just the player just knocked it to our teammate and made the running behind. Yeah, but he's not. You see, the thing for that, the thing with that is he's not supposed to have two, one, three players monitoring. You know, yeah, if you might take one player, our next player is supposed to cover the other area and them thing there. Mm-hmm. So I think him a shielding of the back line then so to speak yeah if i mean you see van dyke get knocked knocked around and but you yeah, see yeah, less be because, because you see you mm-hmm. see less because even though van dyke is a more um what i call you know higher iq defender mm-hmm. per se and knows how to read those situations those situations are not not only come into play because of a defender's um endeavor to come and snuck out a challenge, snuff out a a, 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 a a dribble or a link up play. It comes mm-hmm. out of mostly, as I said, like people around that particular zone not doing what they're supposed to do at the time. And th- this one man who always zoned in always get involved in those situations. So that's yeah. one of the other reasons for it. So your reason. The reason you gave is true, but the other side of the reason is also that. You get me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, so yeah, that that's the one. That's the and and, and again to be fair to Damian Low, it can happen to the best of defenders. Those situations yeah. are not the easiest to defend. You still can work on it, because I still see I still see where your point logical because I have I don't have much memories of someone that I watch so much. I watch I watch him a lot. I don't, I don't have much memories of him using wits, his wits to win the ball. He normally uses agility. So he reads the play. That's easy to do. You don't need wits to read the play. You just need to be focused. So you know, like how you would see some players um like trick the opponent, like they're going to tackle them and don't tackle them and then pull yeah, the yeah, ball away yeah. from them or something. Yeah. I haven't seen him done that. I've seen I've seen Van Dyke done that. I've seen even Ramos mm-hmm. where them say can defend do that. And yeah. so yeah, I see what you're talking about. It's a it's a common tactic among defenders though. They they can it's like a bluff, so to speak, or a fake. Like yeah. them fake step yeah. to the player. I haven't time. seen him do it. All right, so who's our second center back? Uh Pinnock. Ethan Pinnock. Ethan Pinnock right now, you know, I want piece of conundrum, you know, in terms of if which which one out of these three center backs? Yo, is either we using three or we starting Pinnock and Low, you know? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um so Damon Low Ethan Pinnock. What's the third center back? Moore. Moore. Liam Moore. I think those those three are easily the first. On the team sheet. What's the the fourth? I'll say Brown. Brown. Javien Brown. We already we already put Javien Brown in at the right back. Put him at right back. Oh my yeah. bad. Um so that's three. Uh I don't want tilt in the team, you know. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's talk about team first. <laughs> But people sit <laughs> for five minutes and make up their mind about tilt already. We sit the no, one man. For five minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> you see me? I'm not going to ever do that. I, I literally got scored on YouTube for all I'm clips. Oh, them and, okay. And the the okay. man, the, you should not be a showboat as a defender. <clears throat> never. Mm. never. Truth be told, I've never. Never as a defender. You can't make. Up. You see, Jamaica? You've never seen him play? I've never seen him play for a club. I've only seen him play in the couple of minutes he played oh, in both oh. games for Jamaica. 
bro, you see, I don't know if it's because of my knowledge of watching a lot of football that we can just read the player them style. Like once you watch Tilt, two five highlights of him, you see yeah. that he's a flair centre back. And in order for you to be a flair centre back, bro, you have to be Lucio or Sergio Ramos and them and them. You see me? Till mm. now have no reason to be a flair centre back. I heard someone said he's really a defensive midfielder and they're forcing him to play centre back. So maybe that's the reason. Well, he's hush feed, him? sorry. So yeah. them say. So them say. So wait, and we need a CDM right now? Yeah. He's, uh, they, I saw him play, I saw, I saw him playing like he's a CDM. He's playing high up and he's mm. like playing a lot of passes and he's running through the middle. And I also heard people say that he is naturally a DM and they are putting him to play centre back. Kind of like Hector. Yes, oh. I mean. Right now, two or more and find out if Tilt is, a, is actually a CDM. I actually a Google it. Look it up, man. Google it. Uh, uh, normally, stuff for me say is coming from somewhere, isn't it? <clears throat> All right. But so you don't know want Curtis Tilt in the team, right? Nah, no, no, sir. Mm -mm. I might right. um, tell you what. I'm, I will do a change. Or I'll suggest one. Let me say, I put Javain Brown. I put um uh Wes. I put Wes Harding at centre back, and mm -hmm. squeeze Alva Spoil in my team. So you you put Javain Brown and oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So put so put Javain Brown at centre back then. No, Wes Harding. Wes Harding at centre. Oh, Wes Hardy, yes. Wes Hardy did do well against. Yeah. Against. Um, I don't right. know who it was. Some, some guys. Squeezing yeah. Alva Spoil. All right. So let me make a... Because I can't correct it on, on the thing on, in the comment that we made. So check out Wes Harding out at uh, right back. Put in... Mm. Put in who again, you say? A right back? Um, Powell, Alvas, 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 yeah. Powell, and then put all right. So put Wes Harding at centre back. Okay, all right, that can work. Wes Harding did do well against Serbia in a back three. Yeah, so that's so, all right. Right. Four, four, four. Um, centre backs. Four no? centre backs. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Dance round, round. Um, the the <laughs> the big centre the, 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 back. The, the dilemma, yeah. Uh, I have two more. Let me see. <laughs> the two more um, easy man, my spin. It is how I call the man them name. <laughs> two, I don't want to call no 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 joke ball upon this brother. Um yeah. all right. Why? No youth. We call more name already. Uh, <laughs> <January>. <laughs> oh no sorry my bad Mario but makes this team i should call his name yeah, long time i have respect for him my i have respect for him man full respect for Mario. But my bad my my respect my bad but but Hector, well i have to put Hector in the team you know you know because he's he's a he's a sir he's a good servant i mean and and he's not done a lot to, to excite anyone, but for me as a man who really understands the game, I see where even me being a coach would have put him on the field to say, Yo, kick on my man. There. You get me? So I put him in the team, center back, same way, but he's not going to make the final squad. So, yeah, mm. for me, but he will make the final squad for, for JFF. So, anyways, yeah, somehow he will make it. Yeah. All right. Um so that's Michael Hector and all right. So that's Ma Ma so those, are, those are the, the, the six center backs. By the way, Solid guys, if you ask me, you know, if barring Hector a little bit. Mm. By the way, guys, um in the comment section, you guys can participate to you know, and tell us what you're thinking. You know. Um all right, so yeah, these are the these are the six. Um, I, I, as I said, I have my reservations about Hector. I think 
Not that I don't rate it as a good player, but I think he has not been really playing a lot of football in such a long time. Yeah. And I think that I think it affects him. I think when you look at him, for me personally, I think it kinda he's not as sharp as he once was. Yeah. Even in the goal. That that that's what I got from seeing him play. All right, so Damian Low, Ethan, and I would I do I would definitely agree with this. These are the six. Ethan Pinnock, Liam Moore. Wes Harding. Wes Harding should definitely be in the squad because he can be an excellent utility player. Oh, is it? Excellent utility. He can play in a number of positions. Because Radam did all put him in the midfield in some games. You know? okay. in, a, in a the championship. Yeah. Radam did put him even in the midfield in a number of games. That a Harding. And then put him a right mid, left mid, DM, yeah. centre back, yeah. right back, left yeah. back. I I would I would love like to see one, 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 one. I would love to see I mean now is not the time for experimentation but I would love to see I would have loved to have seen Wes Harding play see them for Jamaica and see how him look. You know it would play very well though. I just don't think that they um know him enough to even suggest it to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so th those are the center backs now. So up next, we're going to touch on the let's touch on the deeper line midfielders. And we're, we're picking it up for 4 5 1 because 4 2 3 1 because we know that that is Tapas. You know, that is Tapas favorite position, favorite formation. Right. Favorite formation. Right. So, let, let us do number six. Let us pick number six first. The number six is. Um, CDM, uh, Tapa normally play with a CDM and a box to box. Who, 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 who all right, so Let, how many how many CDMs you want us to speak? Four, two will work, man. Two CDMs, you can, you can only have one on the field at a time. A 30 man pool, you know, a two CDM more on, man. Me no want three CDM, all right, three, so three CDM, three CDM, all right. Who is the three CDMs? Um. I think we're gonna get Kevin Stewart. Yeah. Well, he. Yeah, yeah. I think we should. We should. Um, I don't know. What about Baker? We're not close. No, no. Baker. Right. Cousins. Now. We have cousins. So that's that's um Stewart and cousins and um. Stuart Cousins. By the way, read this comment from Shatter. Till should join Ravers, Clavers, and the Ding Dang with all that flair. <laughs> yeah, man. Pure yeah. flair, the boy. Have. Yeah. Glad I was smart to say it was going. Pure yeah. flair, the boy. Have. It was seem like him a David Lewis. <laughs> all right. So, um, Kevin Stuart, Jordan Cousins, and who? Uh, uh, I, I think. No, Anthony Grant. Hold on, give me, give me, yes, man, Anthony Grant. Give me, Ingrid. This live for someday, right now. You, yeah, we can. Uh, give me a second. Yo, Jenna. Oh, yeah, business, take care. No, man, no, you, man. I, I'm, a, I'm a sister in me. I, Tell some. So yeah. Oh, oh. Um. So, Anthony Grant, uh, Stewart, and uh, Jordan Cousins. Yeah, those are the CDMs. I mean, if if Jose Mourinho, as me here, say good stuff about Grant, and a whole good about him, I don't need to see him. I don't need to see him to believe. Simon Preston said me. that Mariapa. Simon Preston said that Mariapa has played against him. Yo. And Mariapa, Mariapa says one of the best CDs he has ever played with. Played against. Yeah, man, I hear you. Got you. 
Yeah, man, I hear in your man, boss. All right, so yeah, man, so these are the, these are the three CDMs, Kevin Stewart, Cousins, and Anthony Grant. I personally, I, I agree with that. I think that's pretty um straightforward as well. So let me drop down the CDM. Kevin yeah, Stewart. Yo. And jump off. All right, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, man. So Stuart, Cousins, and um, Anthony Grant. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. My spin is back with us. Pause the yeah, video, my video, my video, my video. Yeah, man, my bad. So, yeah, man, you, you, can't, you have it right, man. Yeah, about what I was saying, I was saying if Jose Moreno and a lot of players can say, yo, this man yeah. is top yeah. caliber. Um, destroy and ball winner. Who am I? I don't need to see him. I don't need to see him to just think that he's the best that we can have. One of the best that we have. So, yeah. All right. All right. So, I think that's the history. Hold on, my screen. You pause the video on the next tab. You're still hearing it now? Yeah, may I hear myself? All right. So, I'm going to have to just give me like. 45 seconds. Yeah, man, just pause it when you click the link. Pause, pause the video when you click the link, my, um, my spin. All right, so those are the CDMs. And guys, you know, you guys can critique it as well in the comment section, man. You guys can critique it as well. Um, Smash the like button, guys. You know, um, thanks for being here. You know, we appreciate your listen, your viewership, right, and your comments as well. You know, we want to hear from you guys in the comment section as well. So we're, we're just going through the box to box position. Those are that's what you see on the screen right there are the CDMs that we are picking for the 30 man pool. And right now we're going to look at the box to box midfielders, right? I mean, I think the obvious case in point, the first one is. Obviously, yeah, man. My spin, we just I get to the box to box now. Who, who is the first box to box? Let, let me see who is the first box to box. Speedy player, right? brother. Oh, yeah, man. Speedy, Speedy brother. The first Speedy. box to box I can think of. Speedy. Uh, Speedy. What? All right, let me put on Speedy. Um, Speedy. Tennessee, big up, boss. Big up, Tennessee. All right, so the first box to box is Devon Speedy Williams. I'm yeah, nice to be disappointed now. <laughs> You're good, man. The that man there, General, brother. The man there, General, you would. Big man, right. thing, brother. Uh, you surprised me. I him surprised me. Now, Gold Cup. Yeah. And he play good consistently every time True. in the USL. True. True. Who is the second box to box you have now? We're picking three DJ. boxes. So, boss, oh, yeah, it takes so long to get to the general. <laughs> Daniel Johnson. Yeah, right. Go easy, no, man. Ravel, I forget call last, man. <laughs> Ravel, man, I don't know. We are going to carry what, two attacking mid? We are carrying two attacking mid? Well, it's a 30-man pool. It's a 30-man pool, so we'd pick three. By All the right, way... So by the way, would we, would we, would we list, would you, you don't say, because, all right, here's what I'm thinking about it. DJ, yes, him can play as a number eight, right? But his yeah. main position is a number 10. Would you put somebody, is there anybody else you see out, um, out there that you'd put in the squad over DJ as the number eight, but put DJ in the squad for the number 10? All right. To be honest. I don't want to see um, Bobby Reed playing attacking midfield again. Mm. So, so I'm impressed with him at Gold Cup. Yeah, no. I don't think... I saw him play attacking midfield for Birmingham. 
And I saw him play there for Fulham. He's not a good attacking midfielder. Um, he's not good there. He wants to play there. He likes to play there, but he's not good there. He's better as a winger or a wing back. Very good as a winger or a wing back. Um, so we don't want to see him knowing you're attacking midfield. Ravel, no. For me, it's an illusion that Ravel can even play central attacking midfield. For instance, Probably nobody go play, play. But his best position yeah. is box to box. Yeah, I mean, that's my thing. I say a box to box player. For me, I hardly see them translate to attacking midfielder, whether that they, whether they are fitting in for a player, they don't yeah. become a central attacking midfielder. They they are not that player. You get me I say? It's, it's, it's two different positions that requires two different things. Exactly. And, and some players and, and the players who fit into the box to box mold, they don't they either don't they don't they don't do a very all right. So for instance, Daniel Johnson. Most coaches will never, a lot of coaches, I should say, will never see him as a central attacking midfielder, even though that's the place that he had played most of his games. What he has going for him is his resume. I personally will always want to see Daniel Johnson play in a pivot with another mimic beside him, like him and somebody playing central midfield and somebody in front of them playing attacking midfield and somebody behind them playing DM. That's when you get the best out of Johnson for me. And it's the same way you can get the best out of Ravel. So we don't have an attacking midfielder who has experience. So, right. an so you still think Speedy, DJ and Ravel Marcin should be the box-to-box? -box. Should be told, I can't think of any other box-to-box -box player that I would pick over Ra anyone. Um, Lambert... No, they can't start. Not, Lambert would La, Lambert wouldn't start. I'm not a fan of Lambert. It doesn't matter if you're a fan. <laughs> you don't My have to be a fan of the player. I'm not a fan I mean, of Hector. Well, well, that's true, but I still don't think he should make the squad. No, that's not fair. He's he's been he's been he's been more consistent than Speedy in the USL. I don't know. He's I, very, I don't, he's, he, all right, here's I don't the thing. Here's the thing. Around Lambert. And Lambert is, isn't, here. I mean, Lambert can play as a number eight, right? But isn't he more of a number six? No, he's not a DM. He's not that's, a DM? That's another mistake. He's not a, he's not a DM. No, he can't defend. But he's mostly, he's he mostly can't defend. DM he's not a, though. all right. All right, that's the thing. He, he, for me, all right, his coach puts him on the field and he mm -hmm. breaks up tackles and he drives the mm -hmm. game forward. He's a box-to-box -box player. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you will have some players. All right, you see? All right, you see when Yaya Torre was at Monaco? Yaya Torre would start at attacking midfield. And at some point in the game, you would see Yaya Torre on the top of his box, driving the game forward. So you know what happened yeah, to him? Man. His coach started putting mm. him put, putting putting him at DM. So it's what I'm saying with Lambert is Lambert starts as a central midfielder, but because of how he play, most people will interpret it as him being a DM, and then they judge him being a position playing playing as a DM in their heads. He's not playing as a DM. He's playing as a central midfielder. So it doesn't need to do what. A DM is required to do because he's not actually playing DM. You see me? That's not his role. If from even from schoolboy football, most people thought he was a DM. He was never a DM. He's a central midfielder who does everything. Is he, uh, and is he a, what you're saying is that he's a he's a central midfielder in terms of his skill set. That's what in terms saying. of how he plays, in terms mm -hmm. of how he plays, where he plays, he plays as a CM. But most people, they see some CMs are very um, um robust. They'll tackle for like Nain Golan. Raja Raja Nain Golan, when he was playing for Torino mm. or, or when he was playing for Bologna, he would always start as a central mid. Or even when he started as a central attacking mid, he was doing a lot of tackles and hustling and bustling. But most important, he drove game forward. That's that's the key thing. He drives the game for at at, at Busquets or a or a 
a a Kante when not, not even Kante. Kante drives the game forward. He's not even a DM. He's a box to box. Um, Pablo Pablo Garcia from them long time there at Madrid. Gravison. Those guys are DMs. Them can't do nothing but tackle. So them go always stay put and tackle and. Them go always in a position for tackle and release the ball. That's not Lambert. Lambert is elegant. Lambert is Lambert is not one of those rough and tumble players. Then where, where you expect for just only dogging. He go he go kick it down and take the ball from you and dribble off with it and make a long pass or a nice true pass. He's not a DM. So. I just saw. Well, I just saw. Go. It's unfair for players, you know. It's unfair for players, you know, because fans see them as tall and somebody who make awkward rush tackles, and then they they mm -hmm. use that to judge them their position. But then but they, and then they ignore fair, everything though, else. To be fair, you know, to be fair, though, you know, most of the times when when Lambert plays for club and for for country, is mostly it is understood most of the times that his position is a, a CDM position. Whether or not we think that, you know, the player is effective at it is another is another issue. But, you know, most of the times that's the position that he is, he is you know, required to play. He's being asked to play. For right. both. What I mean, position? What number eight to, you know? I get you. I get you. I want to bring across a perspective. You know how they'll tear up, right? Adele Tarot, yeah, yeah. I know the player. I used to play right, right, player. I think he's right off the top. Right off the top of your head right now. Which position mm -hmm. Adele Tarot plays right now? Well, it depends. Some 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 had him as a as a as a an attacking midfielder number ten, and some have him as a false nine. All right. That was then. What what about and that's good, I'll use that in my point. But what, what does he play now? I am not, sure. not seeing him in Portugal. I've not seen him in uh, Portugal. All right. Last season, then he played mm -hmm. central midfield and DM. You get me? And in Portugal? He's... Yes. CM and DM. That's interesting. Yeah. This man was breaking up tackles. And then you know what I looked at? If you go look back on clips, them, he wasn't doing anything fancy when he had the ball. Other than when he was going to beat you and salad you, he wasn't doing anything elegant. He was all rough and tenacious. That's why the coach said, you know, we can put this man a central midfield. I'll we'll put him on hey, the and see what goes on. Wait, hold on. Adel Tarat was not, it was all rough wear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that may I try to show you. That may I try to show you. Look him up. Look him up back. He's a fight with mm -hmm. man, man, I kick him. Yes, man. From championship, coming come back to Premier League. Each he time you see him. Elegant, flashy flair player, though, my spin. Yes, I you know, get what I'm saying. You know, get what I'm saying. You know, you know, you know. People always look at the flair. They mm. always, you was, I'm oh, saying he wasn't oh. always a flashy flair player. He was a fighter, too. Like Suarez, then. People, all right. When, when I was watching Suarez and Ajax. That's what you're saying. Yeah. You never saw the other yeah. side. So and, and some coaches would try to put that in him as a forward, say, oh, play forward. It look like you go dog up them money. But another coach say, oh, dog up them money from central midfield. Because them see them see how it could work because he, he drives the team forward. That's how I try to get back at. The fact that he, mm -hmm. he, 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 he is dogged enough to win and challenge for the ball. That's one thing. That's a trait of a box-to-box -box midfielder. Gilberto Silva is a what? He's not a box to box midfielder, right? Gilberto Silva. He's Gilberto a holding, Silva, right? Serve me right as a CDM, yeah, man. Yeah, he's a holding, and Lambert mm -hmm. is not that guy, and he's not Busquets. He's more like Kedira when Kedira was at Stuttgart. That's Lambert, and that's not a DM. That's a CM, a box to box. So, there are different, there are all under my spin. There are different types of CDMs, though, you know. They are the, uh, uh, you know, they, they, you have to bear that in mind as well. They are different types Yeah, I know. You have the holding CM. You have the holding... Well, you see, the thing is, I think it's our perspective as fans that cause that difference in, in, in CM, CDMs, you know. No, I just think, no, there are different types of, 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 of CDMs in terms of... It, it depends also on what the coach wants to accomplish on the park. 
Right. Yeah, you're right. You have the so, destroyer and you have the holding yeah. beam. Yes, there are different types. So, so you don't. I hear people saying you have a box to box DM. You don't have any don't, box to box DM. No, but when you when you see when you see like for instance, most of the times when you see <coughs> a, a, a a player in a double pivot, like both players advancing yes. up high, what is taking yes. place is either that is two number eights in the pivot because the coach is of the opinion that this team can dominate possession of the football and dictate the game the team is strong enough to do that like for instance you know the team is by miles the best team the better of the two teams so i'm going to go with probably two um um number eight or yeah. sometimes what you see is the number six and the number eight interchanging some coaches do that as well so for instance yeah. that one player would be contributing to one aspect of the attack as a number eight and the other sitting back as a number six covering that space and it interchanges. Yes. So you might True see another the play. Yeah, you can see you might see another play where that same player you saw a little while ago playing as the number eight is now playing yeah. as the number six. And the player you saw yeah. previously playing as the number six is playing nice as a number eight. Yeah, they're different. I mean a CDM can be a deep line pass as well. You know, so there, there are different types of, 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 of CDM and different aspects to the whole. But watch here, you know, watch here, you know, watch here, you know, watch here, you know. Pirlo as a deep line playmaker does not tackle. You, you, like you're a going, deep you're line going... playmaker, exactly. Deep line so playmaker. A, deep, a deep line playmaker is only a central midfielder inverted or a central attacking midfielder inverted. Let me show you an example. Calvin Phillips. The coaches before Bielsa used to put Calvin Phillips as a central attacking midfielder because of his energy and because of his endeavor, right? And and his, his technical ability, right? Mm -hmm. But when Bielsa came, Bielsa said, listen, we're going to invert you. You are struggling with, with the attacking aspect of the game, but you have all the attributes. We're going to put you in your role, but you're going to start from deep. And and that that's it. That's how that's 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 how he became the the well, what well, Italy Pirlo, Pirlo Italians or Argentines call register mm -hmm. or whatever them call it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If what Bielsa could say, Bielsa could say play attacking midfield the way you're playing, um, the way he's playing right now. For instance, Bielsa could say, um, I'm gonna put you at attacking midfield, this is how I want you to play, and it would never work. Mm -hmm. he, he would have to he, he would and he, he have to invert him and say play. Or you play from right here, so you go work and it work. All right, before we're just done with the box to box now, before we get to the to the other positions on the park, Tennessee, you jump on boss. Tennessee, I don't think Tennessee is with us. Yeah, um, probably, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, man, yeah, 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 man. yeah, me, yeah, you're bridging. I say Speedy and Lambert. Me na me hear you, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. Me know if I your internet, Tennessee. Look like your internet body. Yeah, Tennessee yeah, internet. Yeah. If you want to talk about Lambert and Speedy, I want me to say about Lambert and Speedy, you know, man. <laughs> All right, let, let us move on. Let us move. Um, all right. So the next position that we're gonna pick is uh, attacking so me. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Let's pick the attacking mid, attacking midfield. Why? To be honest, who are your attacking midfielders? Uh, let me see now. Ah, uh, Maggie. In. Casey Palmer and uh, uh, who can I put here now? Uh, who is the third one? I'm trying to think of somebody off of. 
of the uh, Flemings. I'll put Fleming. No, Flemings, no. Mm -mm. Flemings won't be attacking me. He today. can play there, but it is more He's better as a winger. Yeah. Uh, what's the guy's name? Well, we, we're not even courting him, so tell you who I would put there to be honest. Honest, Kevon Freita. Kevon Freita. You mean you're playing at Israel? Yeah, no joke, my fam. Kevon Freita, my fam. Isn't Kevon Freita a, 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 a number nine? No, not for me. Not for me. For me, how him <laughs> play? Easily, easily attacking midfielder for me. I remember I'm trying to watch football from a certain perspective, you know. I realize you that know, you, from yeah, how the players <laughs> play out there, you know. You see me? Kevin, yo, Kevin Freighton is in the mix, in the side of brother. You drop your name from out of nowhere. Yeah, that video I tried to, man. That video I tried to, man. I dropped your name. What, 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 <laughs> no man, a poor thing we are the man. We are the poor thing. You know. Empire, watch this now. Watch this now. If we pick all the players, them what everybody agree with, and then national team don't go according to how we pick it. I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing humorous. We are the poor thing right here, so you know, introspectively. But I mean, we not have to go off for what what you think. We don't, we don't have to go off of what you think no, or what other people think. My spin. Yeah, I'm a boss, but, my spin, but you're yeah, 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 alone and I give on for it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, understand that, you know. I mean, I understand. I mean, but there's... there's, there's, there's I, I didn't say that. You're 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 creating animosity you now. I said Fleming is not a good attacking midfielder. He's better as a winger. That's what I said. But he's not a good idea. Brother, okay, fine. You know, well, keep yeah, well, 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 no, That's well, not what we're doing. I don't mean what this is. Listen, listen, listen. We need to find that. We need to find that. Brother, we have to decide. No, 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 I don't want to hear no media play me because that's not the game. He play for a couple of years now. So what I have to do with anything, brother? He's still in the USL. That have nothing to do with anything, brother. No, you have something to do. Listen. USL, I want poor lead. Number the only time you have to push it. USL, I want a poor lead. Family, remember, you can't try to push a play, you know. But if you play not good, it's just not good. And... Far as the music speed, speedy, me can't tell you speedy, me couldn't go look by you right now and tell you but speedy is a good player. Because Tennessee, Tennessee, speedy, isn't he? If all right, right? Ten, we, we just pick the box to box midfielders, Tennessee, right? So them here on screen, mm -hmm. speedy Daniel Raven. Oh, yeah. Who do you take out? Who do you take which player you replace speedy with right now? Right now, mm hmm. Oh. Right now, you see, I would prefer you to put Atkinson in a team over Speedy. As a, but, but Atkinson play box to box Tennessee. Atkinson well, is a winger true. or a number 10. Well, well, well that's what But I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Brother, you're my son of formula. This is what I taught me here in two. No matter about who I'm rate and who I'm not rate. Uh, we need to on that. Because me a pick a player who a rate. Me, me, me mature more than that far. We are talking about what we have available for. No, you I, can I kid yourself. I think, yeah, Tennessee, kid yourself. I think Tennessee is saying that in an ideal world, he would not want Speedy Williams in the team. While I agree with that in the Tennessee. I agree with that in the Tennessee. But my, the only thing for me is, who would we replace Speedy with? The fact of the matter is right now, Speedy is in the top three best box-to-box -box players that we have available currently. We can't go on that, Tennessee. Uh, again, again, Happy. Formula. You see, my rate, my rate, your patience, you try to explain this to a man who are very well aware 
say we don't have no other players. And we yeah, you mute my spin, you mute yourself. I don't know, like you click on your, on your thing or something. Yeah, yeah, my bad. See, they me back. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, Ooh, man, great man, man, patience. Man, 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 uh, video play, video, video play, play again. I'm in a move for you saying, no, no, no. Feel set, me feel set. You're bridging a cause, you know. You're bridging a hack my phone. I'm a man, man. I'm a man, man. I'm a man, man. I'm a man, man. I'm a hack my phone, man. You know what I mean? For your life, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, me not. 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 Me but Tennessee, me agree with you, Brenna. Me agree with you, but I just who would I replace him with? No speed, eh? Yeah. So, 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 so family, right now, seriously. Mm-hmm. You'll be saying we're going to Mexico, right now. And speed them up his side, and Lambert them up his side. Me see you say we're going to get that trashy. Lambert them up his side, though, Tennessee. But me and my advocate for Lambert too. But what me I say? Me he never picked him though. In the end, he never picked him. Me can understand how oh, you want to play outside like the US and Mexico with them and they were play. You know, you have to say US second division. Me agree. I mean, Elsa Bilor, Elsa Bilor, have some of them, you know, and then play good for Elsa Bilor. But the reason why me feel in Elsa Bilor side because Elsa Bilor don't have no other option. So they have to pick them. But we don't have the other option right now currently available to Tennessee. Oh, oh, you mean don't come and play away by England? Yeah, but the thing about it is we're talking about realistically who is going to get into the into the World Cup qualifying squad. Those players don't have documents. That is the problem. Those players don't no, have no, documents no. in Tennessee. So no, no, realistically no, no, no. speaking, them now go get I mean, look at Eve now a, a baker. Baker is nowhere near the national team right now because the player isn't, from what we understand right now, the player isn't even interested in playing for the national team. Well, that's true. Well, that's true. So, that's a, well, I mean, we understand from an ideal standpoint, but we have to pick the mm -hmm. thing based off of what from a practical standpoint right now. But well, me agree with you. Me agree with you. Me agree with you, though, Tennessee. In an ideal world, mm -hmm. would I want somebody better mm -hmm. than speed. In an ideal world. Yeah, and so, we don't have an ideal world right now. We have to just work it out. We have. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? So, love so the guys, ball them. Because yeah. Devon Williams go out, they got to do. He make all the team look better when he come out. Oh, he's oh, he not good and do that. Well, the man, man. When he make the team look better? <laughs> I mean, I mean, not in your eyes, but not in your eyes, I understand. I mean, but in a lot of other people's eyes, in Including the coach there, man, some fans and some yeah, pundits and YouTubers. Isn't it? You know how to agree because you know, rate the player, you know, but no, I don't tell me to rate the player, you know, but differently. You said that, man, you said it two times, man. No, well, we don't rate you, we're not going to do that. I'm not telling you, you said, really yeah, really yeah, yeah. All right, y'all right. make it start, rain, brother. Personal. I have mean, nothing personal against the man, Gene, but I mm -hmm. watch USL family. I'm mm -hmm. going to watch a couple of matches. I mean, I tell you, say, I want terrible league. That's what I say. So sometimes, I see them scoring. Like, listen to me. If a man that USL play and you win in USL, I maybe about two times, and you can't make it go, go, go MLS, that's what I'm playing already. I'm no, sure you're Tennessee. Tennessee I'm sure you're very. Free for international players, non-American players, you know, to get into the MLS, you know. It is it is a limited yeah. amount of spots. It's like not tell many him, tell him, But family, if you have a talent, nothing can stop you. If you're a good player, no, yeah. nothing can stop you. Because the coach now go, now go look for quality. I don't want, I don't want quality in the But you see, the thing is, Tennessee, the player might be an MLS, MLS grade player, you know. 
but there might be just better available to the MLS because the MLS, you know, is rich from a resources standpoint, so them can go Europe. I mean, MLS go Europe, go all, um get starting players in League One, you know, for come play for MLS teams, so, you know, as them international so players. All, 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 all MLS take man from 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 um, Jamaican Premier League, and you the right in the US, and then you can step up. You know, long speed, they might play Premier League, and I like to say, you know. We have not getting money in Zin. But yeah, let's yeah. say if you are 29 years old and you still play USL, something not right. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Get man. Yeah. I'm going to make them food. I'm going to eat them food. I don't know. I don't have no problem with that. But if yeah. you have the quality, no coach now nah, reject quality. Unless I'm, unless I'm mad, man. Hmm. All right, then. So we, we, have, we have both gentlemen here, my spin and Tennessee, right? We have two. Would you agree on these two um, attacking midfielders, Tennessee, Tyreek and Casey Palmer? It's three who want to pick, and we have two so far. Would you agree on Tyreek and Casey? Tyreek and Casey Palmer? Yo, yo, me there, back, you know, me there. Yeah, man, yeah, man, me see, yeah, that's man, a, yeah, man, me just ask yeah, Tennessee right, up no. here, man. No, it's all right now. As far as the music, Maggie is with the United team. Tennessee, we don't believe side. Yeah? No, we don't believe side, and then we tackle that. Tennessee, I open all right, up all right, a, 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 a reservoir. All right, all right, all right. Why don't you do? Tennessee, Tennessee, though. Again, in a Tennessee, I understand your argument, you know, and, but at the best we have available to it right now, we're picking Tennessee. And Tyreek McGee is one of the best number tens we have available to us. Which which are them? All right, we have Tyreek McGee and we have Casey Palmer here, right? Bearing in mind that DJ was picked as a number eight, right? Um, which other player would you throw into the mix for the number? We need one more number ten right here. Well, McGee, Casey Palmer, well. To me, it's a little bit of a family. We think Maggie them good, talented player. Mm -hmm. But if you're not playing football, you're not supposed to make a national team. Well, maybe you make it because of an ability to as players. But mm -hmm. right now, if you're going to make Daniel Johnson play in number 10 role. But we already have DJ, all right. We have DJ as a number eight, you know. Mm -hmm. We have DJ as a number but eight earlier on, you know. So DJ here, but, but we'll DJ him as one of the three in box to box. But, 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 but DJ look like a good number eight to you so far? I mean, I per here's the thing, here's the thing, right? Even if we put DJ at the uh, as a number ten, right? So let's say we add him to the three number tens here, Maggie, Palmer, and DJ, right? Mm. Who, who else we gonna have to put to play as the box to box? Who is gonna fill the third box to box position for you if it's not DJ? We have Speedy and we have Ravel. Who else we have? Well, I'm to Kevin Stewart. Kevin Stewart is more well. Kevin Stewart made our list earlier as a number six. Okay, so Kevin okay, Stewart okay, okay, here, okay. we have Kevin Stewart as the number six. I see the number six there, Stewart, Cousins, and Grant. Okay. Well, so well like a 30 man, if, if a 30 man, maybe the man can make the team still. All right. So so who would who would be our we, we have guys in the comment? I see Travis here saying Lewis Baker or Paris. Paris Paris can play number 10, Paris, though. Uh, but he's more a winger. He's more a winger or a forward. Yeah. Well, that's your team. Who would be our third shot? All right, you know what? I am going to throw Bobby D. Cardova right into the mix. Because right now we're struggling to find a, 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 a number 10. I mean, my spin, my spin and the ball couldn't find, could, was, was thinking of a number 10 as well. And both of us were kind of we're kind of, you know, struggling to, hey, we're midfield poor, you know? I mean, if you're midfield poor. 
Because right as now, I, me as I, poor, I poor respond that team. Because even my spin was here earlier and he was not. I think him did say Freighter. And boy, I never did to put Freighter in a arm um, <laughs> for now. Because we never agreed on the my spin. My yeah, spin because Freighter didn't have the radar right now. Hmm? Because like, Freighter, it, it was so, it was left field. So my spin here as a midfield poor for you. Yeah, man, it poor, it poor. My spin yeah, it man, poor. Poor. Because right now we are struggling for finding a, 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 a third choice. Me just like to throw in Bobby D card over it and try to find another one. Mm-hmm. I just like to throw in Bobby Reed and try to find another winger. What do you think about that, Tennis? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a 30 man or a 23? It's a 30 man pool, but as, I'm not so 100% sure. You know, we just, right now we're picking a 30 man pool. Okay, okay. Because I need to find out exactly. Because as, as the de- I'm sure the decision has been made. It must be made by now. But I have not heard it. I think I think I heard it was like a a, a, a 23 man squad. Sometimes it's 30. Sometimes it's 23. I think I did hear that it was a 23 man squad. Yeah. Let me try and see if I can Google it. But right now we're going we're gonna work with Bobby Reed yeah, at the yeah. number. Two. My spin as if we drop Bobby Deer as well. Yeah, man, those those right now are the best available options for us. Um in the in the in the number 10 slot. All right. Um we are gonna we are gonna go with right wing first, right? Mm-hmm. Who who would we pick as the, the, the three right wingers? After we make 30-man squad, we cut it down to 23. So who would you have as the right wingers, Tennessee? Right wingers? Where do I play them? The left right or the right? I'd play them on the, the left right now. You play them on the left? Mm-hmm. Remember, so I have, so I have, jam, I have jam low, you know? We have a couple of left wingers who are, who are not really... You know, let's for the purposes, all right. We have a number of players that can play on both, you know. So let yeah, us let us man. let us throw let us throw all the wingers in the mix and see which one which ones would, would be with best balance both left and right wing slots. We find try to find the right balance of both the left and right wing spots. So you'd have put Bailey there? Yeah, man, you're gonna put Bailey. And you kind of kind of stay away without Bobby Reed going in midfield now. Mm. So we don't put Bailey. And um, you know, I know what I call um, Campbell. Norman. Uh, Norman Campbell. Okay. I saw Norman the other day um, in Europe. He looks okay. Yeah, um, to, um, you'd have picked Norman over Paris, though. Which one can I look similar to me still? But look at Norman, I play at the higher level. A slightly mm. higher level than, than Paris. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with Norman. So who's the third choice right winger? Third choice? I'm going to go with um, my name Turgot. Turgot over Paris? Turgot can play on the left okay. winger. They don't want to save him for the left so and squeeze the Paris. You see, see you, you, you don't want to leave a space for, for, for Paris in the 31 squad. So we could put in Paris then, no? Put in Paris? All right. Mm-hmm. In terms of, we just to try to pick it from the, 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 the best yeah. balance for both right mm-hmm. and uh, right right and, and left wing positions. Mm-hmm. Wait, see, see, see my, my spin is saying that my spin said Paris is better than Turgot and Campbell. Hmm. Interesting perspective. So? But I mean, like, I would I would want to see Paris at a higher level first. Turgot and yeah, well, I, I would agree with I would agree with my spin from the perspective that I would give the edge to Paris right now over Campbell. 
that I would definitely agree with. I would want to see my well, 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 go get that neither. Mm-hmm. Kabo Salem, kind of similar. Only two Campbell players are slightly higher level still. Kabo Salem, the Croatian league more a bit better than the than the than, than Slovenia, the Serbian league than Slovenia. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's Serbian league a little bit, bit better. All right, so those are our right wingers. You, you, you think Roland Aarons will make this squad? If you have a passport, I think he should. Yeah, man, he's born a Jamaica, man. Documents is not an issue for him. But for God's sake, well, we can't see this brother. Them now call this man. I, I don't mean to do. They are saying injured. Uh, you know, in problem. Uh, did he play the other day? Did he no, play no, for no. others the other day? Let me, let me Google it quick and fast. I think if memory serves me right, he played for Huddersfield the other day. I might be wrong though. I'm Googling it though. I'm Googling it as we speak. Lineups. No, he never played, no. He never looked like him did play. Sure, again, he never played at all. Never in the so same injured same way then. So him can make the him can make the side then then for the upcoming for the upcoming games. Yeah. It look like a them three I have to go go with. Cause we can't think of we can't think of nobody else right now. All right. Um. So we are gonna go with them three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? No one, yeah. <laughs> this is not ideal. All right, left wing, I know. Left wing. No, 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 right wing already. no, 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 right wing? Yeah, no, 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 right no, So no, no, Okay. Jamal Low and where's the Turgot? And Turgot. Would, would you carry Antonio to this tournament as, as a, wing. a winger or as a striker? I'm not like him as a striker. Hmm. So you wouldn't. You wouldn't you wouldn't try to squeeze him in on the wing for, for kind of make space for the likes of Roof and Burke and Gray and Nicholson and even though we know you're probably not really because I do. No, I do, I do, I do, I do. No, but the difference is Nicholson are going to his squad, you know. Mm -hmm. No matter what Nicholson are going to his squad, if he doesn't score no goal, so I know this September he's still going to his squad. Can you know what's the more picking? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, my my spin as the Nicholson should stay home. <laughs> the one, the one, let me feel you say they won't more left out of Gray. I mm. would leave him out, but I feel like they don't they, leave him out. Mm. Yeah, man. Uh, I try to think of another winger that could play. Jamal Low, Blair Turgot. I can't think of another, I mean. But you know why? Because you put Bobby in the midfield, so that's why. Yeah, 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 because we put Bobby in our midfield, exactly. Because the two best right wingers we have are Bailey and Bobby. But because we put Bobby in the midfield, Alex, you can Alex, you can Alex, you can be from Jamaica. Want to Flemo? Flemo make this? Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Might as well. I thought you wanted to say, Mommy, it's the Mommy kid. So we're going to go with. All right, because what I'm gonna do, you know, if we finish and it just shot at 30 or it's past 30, we either add or subtract. Yeah. So, what do you say? You would have, you would have, you would have put Mikel Antonio as a left winger or bring Flemo as a winger and put um, Mikel Antonio as center forward. Martin Richard Stewart and Martin Davis, him now make it Richard, sorry. You know, make it. But the but the mobile is playing in the wheel. But you know, the top of the pick is playing in the wheel. Yeah. Not me, Robin, but top of the pick. 
But all right, do all right. This is our squad, right? This is our squad, right? Would we want to see? Would we want to see Mikel Antonio as the winger, or we'll put Flemmer in there instead? They are squeezing me. In, when when we are squeezing Mikel Antonio, we bring one of them. They put in. All right. Nicholas now one of them nice guys. All right. So we're going we're gonna do that then. And if 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 they are still if we still if we short our numbers, mm -hmm. if we short our numbers, we'll we'll put on Flemmer in the later on. Wait, it's short again. Oh, Antonio. Yeah. All right. So we we you know Martin Davis should make this squad my uh my spin on Richard, but it now go happen. I'm not going to pick you. Yeah, no, it's we have Everything to be realistic. Yeah, we have to be realistic about even though it's our squad and we'd want to see man, we, we kind of have to strike a balance between being being realistic as to who we genuinely think has a chance to make the team. So it those are like, the right things. It would have come like when everything say freighter. I see him thing. Then I go <laughs> just if I'm on the pitch already. Just if I'm mm. on the pitch already, you, 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 then I go put, put, put them in the squad. If if they are not of a certain college. Think, yeah, yeah. Can you think Martin Davis is in a 60 man pool? He never in a 60 man pool. He should have been though. Should have seen, eh? yeah, of course. And, of course, he should have been. And can Martin Davis play as a number 10 also? I think so, you know. I never really watch much in game them still, but the, the highlights. Mm -hmm. They look good. I have watched him. I have watched a couple of games with him in Malta, and the guy is balling, man. And Meriti should make it. This guy can play yeah, as man. a winger or as a number ten, and is a player that we, we kind of need in the squad from a depth to have decent depth, both at the attacking midfield and the wings. And Meriti should make it. He's a very good player. He's above the Maltese league, in my opinion. Because when we tell you in Tennessee, when, when we talk about directing a man, the man directing a man, you want to set the ball and score goal dart, and stitch goal and assist. Yeah, man, score goal, so. mm -hmm. All right, so we we'll do the wingers now, right? We we'll do the wingers. And by the way, a whole heap, hey, that's quite the kind of, because a whole heap of the winger them two can play as an out and out forward, you know? Striker. Out and yeah, out man. number nine, a low can play as one, Turgot can play as one. All right. Um. So who 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 would be here? We're gonna go with. We're gonna go with um. Four number number nines. No, so you have to go with Michael Antonio and Rook. Yeah, but we we'll put we we'll put Nicholas Antonio. In that. We we'll put a room. We we'll put Antonio. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you go with um Chamber and Nicholson. Um. Andrew Gray, Kemaru, and um, Corey Burke. Kamar Nicholson, Andre Gray, Kemaru, and, and Corey Burke. Mm. Um, that would be my, my, my four. We hear Roof, we hear Roof now sign the document as well. You think he'll make it? I think he won't make his squad, man. I think he make his squad. Unless he don't want to play. I what agree with that. Want to leave I, team? I don't think so either. I think I think Gray might end up get cut. I think so too. Yeah. If, yeah. Nicholson. yeah. And honestly, I would actually go with Nicholson over Gray, to be honest with you. As bad as as bad as Nicholson miss, I would I would I would if I had a choice, I would pick Nicholson over. Yeah, man, Leighton. Because great because great even play right, right now though. Because he never ended up on the bench yesterday for what? It it looks like he's gonna go back down to the championship. They might talk about, about a transfer for him back down to the championship. Yeah, 
You think Gray are gonna get are gonna be what? I think they're going to cut Gray. Yeah, I think so too. And I don't think he I don't think he really impressed in the Gold Cup either. <laughs> but Nicholson not impressed neither. But I'm still okay. Yeah, 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 so the thing with Nicholson though. I think he, he has a little bit more dyna, dynamism to his, to his forward play than Gray. For starters, he's quicker than Gray. I mean, he's not the quickest, but he's quicker than Gray. Gray is just really slow. I know, I mean, I think so, though. I think Gray will play better than Nicholson. Mm, yeah, yeah. All right. When, when we're cutting it down, We'll choose between we'll choose between between both. Come on, because I think it's going to come, come down between both. You know, you must say Clark Harris, but we don't have Clark Harris have a have a passport. Clark Harris have him documents, man. But I don't think he will get. It. Yeah, man, him have him, him ready, him up and ready for play for Jamaica. Man. But I don't think he'll get picked. That's a sad thing. Yeah. When play two games in the score so far. I um, mean, at the in championship. championship. Yeah. Yeah, in the championship, we play two games in the score so far. So. Mm. All right. But, 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 but Nicholas is not going to make it, family. Mm. The Adman on setting can go be great. I think so too. All right then. So these these are the let me just put it up on screen right now. All right. So let me let me let me add it up and see how many players we have if it's a 30 man squad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. Wait, let me start over. Let me start over. The four goalkeepers, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 34. So we have to cut it down in a tennis league. We're there 34. <laughs> Hold on there. We have to cut it down. Yeah, so yeah, I have a feeling I will get left. We could cut it down. All right, remember? Wait, how are we going to go about this now? Hey, family, you know, no. No, no, no surprise if I say you can't have demon. No surprise if, if I say what? Hector. Hector is going to be in it, man. But must. Hector is going to be in it. Hector is going to be in it. All right. I go, I go, I go list out the, the squad where we arrive at and you guys tell us who forget pick out. Who forget kick out. All right. So, I'm going to start with the goalkeepers first. So, Blake. Billon, Barnes, um, Dennis Taylor, and Amal Knight. Those were the ones that we had chosen. It was four goalkeeper. Yeah, for the thirty-man squad, we all know who's gonna get left off already. Mm -hmm. Um. Left back. No, we can start with right back first. Right back. Um, we are chose Javan Anderson, who can who is a would be a very good addition to us. We're assuming he will get his documents in time for the World Cup qualifiers. From what we have here, from what we have heard. It is a reasonable assumption. Javain Brown and Alvas Powell. By the way, um, there's no O'Neill Fisher. <laughs> so 
so you guys can relax. <laughs> so Davian Brown and Alvas Powell. Alvas Powell. And at right back, no, left back, sorry, left back, we had the, the usual suspects, um, Kimar Lawrence. Um, we had Greg Lee. And we had Amari Bell. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm typing it out and then I'm going to post it. Probably, me should I probably just go with last names alone, you know? What do you think? Me should I just go with last names, no? Yeah, man. Yeah, it took up too much time. I put in the first name then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And then we have a center back now. Um... The first one on the team sheet for center back, Damian Low. We had um, Pinnock, who did well for uh, in the Premier League the other day on his Prem debut. Proud of him. And we had obviously Moore. And we had um, who else was picked? Um, my spin on the ball did pick Wes Harding as a center back as well. Harding, also Mariapa and Hector. Mariapa and Hector. I'm kind of surprised it came up to over um to over thirty though. Kind of feel like like over thirty initially. All right, so you know, make make we no, you know, on second talk, make we, make we, I'm gonna type out, I'm typing out the whole squad, mm -hmm. and then we 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 take out who we want to take out. I was gonna do it by like defense, midfield, and attack first, but then we not go about that. All right, so just be with me, guys, as I, you know, just kind of sort this thing out. All right, um, so that those are the, all right, so the CDMs now were Kevin Stewart, Cousins, and Grant. The CDM, Stewart who everybody seems to think that he will be the savior. Cousins and Grant. What do you think about, you think about Stuart? NSC. I think he's a good, yeah, yeah, I think he's a good player. But only thing me, you know, what, you get injured a lot. Yep, yep. The availability is a problem. Yeah. A problem. And and uh, we just we just we desperately lacking in the middle of the park, man. All right, number eight were Speedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Johnson. Ravel. And the boss himself. He's the real savior. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody ever see if we are in, I am also here, man. General, we feel it too. Without him, this World Cup qualifying campaign is dead, Tennessee. Dead. But what about when we got US in place in Babylon? In that document. Well, a one place in can travel go and that is US. So that was one game. That's just one game. Hopefully, COVID don't get out of hand. 
Mm-hmm. And we have to relocate our games from Jamaica. Cause that is as crazy as it might sound, that is a real possibility, you know. Me always worried about that, you know. If that happens and the games move go US, dog me and up, man. We know we not trouble, man. Serious trouble. All right, low left wing target. Serious, serious trouble. Because if I want play, trust me, if 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 I had a choice between two players, one of these two plays is just like in terms of we can only bring one, right? Bailey or Ravel. Trust me, man. Me, I bring Ravel. <laughs> me, me you know miss, people might last for right now. No, but me, but we'll go with it from Bailey. We can, we, we'll go with that too. It's not even it's not even that you know Tennessee. The the main thing is that we need like Bailey is a luxury luxury piece for us. Even though it's a needed luxury luxury piece, is still a is still a a luxury piece. We need Ravel. Yeah, man. We need like Ravel is a need. If a one player Ravel and Blake are the two players in this team, mm-hmm. when we feel is an absolute necessity. To demand them in our squad. And that's true. I, I, I'm gonna say Damian Lotto. And and probably the two the two centre backs as well are the three centre backs. Yeah man. Probably the three centre backs. All right. Um, I'm almost finished, guys. Typing it out. I am at the strikers now. Center forward. Um, and we had Nicholson. Let me type roof name first. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholson. Um, Gray. And Burke. All right, so let me just look through it quick and fast to ensure that everything all right. I'm going to put the spaces between it now. Put the spaces between it and see how it looks. So that it can be clear to everyone. One second, guys. One second. Just fixing it up so you guys can see it clearly. Um. All right. So this is the squad now, guys. This is thirty-four. This is thirty-four. Wait, how it looks so? Oh, it, it picked it. Oh, it, it like it. It cut it into two. Yeah, yeah. It cut it into two. All right. So this is the first half of the squad, guys. This is the the the. This is the back line. So the three, the four goalkeepers in the thirty man squad are Blake Barnes, Taylor, and Knight. Because it's 30 man pool we're doing first, you know. So Blake Barnes, Taylor, and Knight. The right backs are Anderson Brown, Powell, left back, Lawrence Lay Bell, center back, Low Pinot Moore, Harding, Mariapa, and Hector. CDM, Stewart, Cousins, and Grant. And then the. Yeah, the number eight, Speedy, Johnson, and Ravel. Number 10 is Maggie, Palmer, Reed. The left wing. Low Turgot Antonio and the right wing Bailey Campbell Paris and the center forwards Ruth Nicholson and Burke and Gray. All right, so in this, in this, we, we need to cut it down to 30, right? First, we're cutting it down to 30. Who out of, who out of these players right here? You would uh, you think we should take any of these players out? Tennessee. 
Yeah, man. I think I'm cousins and um, mm, yeah, we have Grant and Stuart. We have Gold Leffer, man. And Hector can play there as well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, you, you think Cousins is better than getting Grant is better than Cousins? As far as you may say, I think Grant, Grant is a more gritty player, a more, a more aggressive. I, I, I think Grant is more aggressive. In my opinion, I bring Grant. All right. So, um, Cousins is the first one cut. Anybody else? Made a, made a cut, Knight. Powell. Uh, and Knight. Knight. Oh, yes, Knight. So, Cousins, Powell. And night. No, no problem with that. All right. So down here now. Would we cut anybody down here? Not cut Palmer. You know, Casey Palmer? Yeah, man. Nah, play good. Palmer, nah. Yeah, but the level at which he's playing at. The level at which he's playing at. Don't mm -hmm. you think he can be of some use to us? Well, that's true still. But, but who else is that a coach? Our speed. I mean... You know me, I get with that speed, if you not really. <laughs> we have, we have. <laughs> All right. Mm. I think we should bring, I think we should bring three number eights and three number tens. So we we have people, but we don't no agree. Maybe not gonna make it. I would take out nine, Gray. And... Yeah, you can mm. not gonna put I would take out Gray and I would take out Gray and Campbell. Yeah. So that would have, but that, but that, that would have bring it down you know. to, but that would have bring it down to twenty nine. So I have to choose between Gray or Campbell. And me, me go go. Yeah. So Campbell out. So that is the that is the so you know the the, the so those are the players that we're gonna take out. All right. So I'm trying to find I'm trying to find the information on whether it is 30, whether what is the squad I size. A 23? I got me, 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 I am, I am, I am here, I've heard that is 23. Yeah. It, but me, people, people are 30, too, but when you check the internet, it's 23. Where where is it at Tennessee? When well, you check on the um like I check the the World Cup qualifying squad, mm. it's, it's at twenty three twenty three players. Okay, uh, yes, I have I have I have heard that too. So let's work with twenty three, right? Yeah, but me only the people so at thirty. Yeah, and I have if memory serves me, right, I've heard official sources say that is twenty three. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's let's boil it down to twenty three now. Um, so we already have Knight and Powell out of this mix, and Cousins as well. Mm -hmm. Who else would we take out? All right, so all right, let, let's do it differently. Who would be the three goalkeepers? The three goalkeepers is pretty obvious. Yeah, Ban still and Knight. Now, Blake Taylor and yeah. Vance. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Them three. Yeah, the three goalkeepers are, are pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. So those are the, the, the three goalkeepers that will make our final 23-man squad. Mm -hmm. Blake, Barnes, Taylor. All right. Um, one of the left backs have to go. One of the well, yeah. we already took out one of the right backs. Like, like, oh, Greg, Greg Lee just started playing, but me, me think we're not taking him out. 
and Gregory injury prone as well. Yeah. So we're taking out Lee. Okay. So the left box, the left back will be. The left back will be Lawrence and the usual suspects, Lawrence and Bell. Mm -hmm. All right. Lawrence and Bell. All right. Um, would you drop any of these center backs? Then three the low and Pinock and low Pinock and more. Can't jump none of them three there. Can't, yeah. Maybe Mario Papa. No, but maybe Mario Papa can stay on the side because he can't play Mario Papa can play right back also. Yeah. You need that kind of experience. But Hector can play C D M as well. Mm -hmm. So what you say? I know, um, I know Hector going in the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hector my rapper go definitely in the team. All right. So make a look on the, the lower half of the team now and see if... Would you... Would you all right. So we have maybe two Harding, maybe Maybe Harding will be man with the left foot. Yeah, but that I think now, that I real talk, you know, we have... We have... Even when we take out Powell, we have Anderson and Brown, and we have Anderson. That's a good point, you know. We have Anderson, Brown, Mariapa, and Harding. Harding as three right backs. So obviously, you need for cut down. Which one are they? Which one of them? Three out of the four. Which one would I go? Would I take out Harding? You don't take out Harding? Why? Why? I, I brown, I brown. I, th I think brown is going to be the one where we stay back now. Maybe brown is going to be the one where we stay back now. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make the side either. Mm. All right. Make, make it take out brown. Because realistically speaking, even though I think he should make it, mm -hmm. what I would do if I was picking the squad, Tennessee, I would take out Mariapa, mm -hmm. keep Wes Harding, to play like Mario a player who can play a center back or as a right back, and yeah, me yeah, keep that Brown in the team, me that keep Brown and Anderson in the team. But realistically speaking, we know more than like a Brown or Gogo. Yeah. So the squad is now down to 28. So we, we need what is six more players we have to take out. Boy, if I Look play, at I this. Know. Yeah. You know, speed in and I'm going to make it. Speed in and I'm make it. I don't think so. So we have to take it and let speed in. Right, I make a start with the simpler one first. The center forwards. What, 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 I mean, there are too many center forwards in the team. So, well, who left out. Gray, like, Gray. Gray, Gray, Gray get left out. And maybe you think Nicholson. so? Mm-hmm. Me hear many people have said Gray. I think Gray will get left out. Yeah, man, Gray will get left out. Yeah. I hear many people saying Gray. I think Gray will get left out. All right, so that's a three out now. That's a three out. So, mm, the other one is tough in a man. Box foot. Tough, man. Because right now, me look Tur at I think Turk got maybe not make the final 23 neither. Mm. Par so wait. You think Paris would make it to what got? No, man. Paris out? Yes, a Paris out? Yeah, man. I think Paris, Paris not, I, I think even though Turk got never played so well, he had a good goal cup. As far as what well, I see, me and people say he never played good, but me still thinking better than Paris. I think so too. 
Paris, you, you were on the watch along earlier on with us today when we were doing the watch along to Paris. No, you know, me never catch it. Me come catch it in the last. Paris played play good enough, man. Yeah, man. Play... The, man uh, oh, you, oh, the, play only, play. the only criticism I have of Paris, Tennessee, is that he hold on the ball too long. Oh, and he look okay. a bit selfish. He might go for glory. Yeah. But yeah, he might walk yeah, past yeah. them in Slovenia, man. He might walk past them. Because I remember saying no for them play, no, no, no for these players where we, 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 we leave, but I don't really like their outside squad, you know, they just leave all people first, three games. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, the first, the first game, I, the first game, I refer to two games, you understand, because I pay 30, they're still available for the, the first three games. Yeah. What do you think about a suggestion that we're late and say? Take out both Gray and Nicholson, because, I mean, we take out... We'll, we'll take out both Gray and Nicholson. I agree with that. But will it happen though? Or we're we just going to go with along the lines of what we think? You know what? I mean, I take out Gray and Nicholson too, you know. Seriously. Because we, we have Burke in the thing. Mm-hmm. We have Antonio in the thing. Similar kind, of, yeah, similar kind of players to Nicholson. Mm-hmm. Then do what Nicholson does and probably do it better. Mm-hmm. And we have Turga tonight who can play as a, a center forward as well. Low can fill in that spot if we need to. But I agree, Nicholson. Remember you have roof here, man? Yeah. Gray and Nicholson out. So that a four down. So we need four more for, for, for be removed. Ooh. Speed, you know, make it for me, you know, formula. But, man, you see, yes, you, see, you really and truly see top of God without three number eights, though. I think Speed will make it. Because Speed, he, he, he can play Speed as either a CDM or a, a number eight. Mm-hmm. But, but which one of them play here for left foot? We bring Speed. That get tricky. Because <laughs> you have Maggie, and let's see how you have Maggie. Because you can't leave out Daniel Jazz, you can't leave out Ravel. So now I'm going to low, if you're available. And two, you can't get left. I want you to squad to pick, man. My spin and the ball jump on back. Yeah, say my spin. My spin. I try to take out speed out that side, you know. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta take out. Oh yeah, no, man, you are to see. Yeah, Tennessee. Right. I try to take out speed. No man, no you have my spin. You move so man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a you put me All right, let me I'm tell you, man. Terry got me with a take him out. You see me? Fully, fully. I agree with that. Too. I agree with that. Yeah, I'm going to take him out. Uh, sir. I'm gonna... So you're going to keep parsing and score over Terry got? I, I, I mean, Parry. Turgot proved not a higher level doing a Turgot. Turgot is doing really. And Sweden is a, is a much higher level, in my opinion, than, than, than Slovenia. A better league, man. Far away better league. Yo, this tough, you know, man. All right. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... For me, it, it, for me it's either Turgot or Paris because... To be out right now because... We have to remember, say, Bobby, even though put him down as a number 10. Okay. Yeah. He can play... 
as a, 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 a right, obviously his, his natural position is more of a right winger. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my rate. Here's the thing, one, here's one of the things why I'm kind of, why I'm still a kind of hold on to Paris. The only left-footed winger that we have in this squad currently is Leon Bailey and Kahim Paris. You know what? My problem is left foot. Well, you know, you put it in for me. Like, remember, say, maybe Yo, may I try to stay, but, game, try stay, but every minute, sorry, every now and again, may I get one error message or something else I use, like, so that I mess me up. Oh, no problem, man. No problem. Some boy, I use my mic. I think, sir. Boy, I think, sir, boy, I'll probably take out Turgot out of this, you know. Yeah, brother. Turgot, I'll take out. I'll not take out Paris. Yeah, right now, I'll probably. Yeah. Because yeah, right yeah, now, we're <laughs> <laughs> What you say? Because Bailey? No, I'm going to be a little speedy. Speedy. I'm going to be speedy. Speedy. No, we can't have him boy. speedy. We just have three midfielders. We have yeah, three same we alone. We have. I don't think we should leave speedy. I don't think we should take out speedy. Right now, yeah, that would be a very it. bad mistake. Right now. Where did speedy ever get game? No, I'm not going to get game because of Ravel. But here's the thing, though. We have to bear in mind to you know, Tennessee that the only other player that can keep things ticking in the middle of the park in this current squad is Speedy. Apart yeah. from Ravel. Yeah. No, apart we can't from Ravel. Yeah. Are we, are we gonna imagine what that is speedy at the game? Tennessee, we're being real in terms of his game in a Tennessee. We, whether or not he does it well for us, yes or no, you know. That's another debate. But he's that type of a player who he tries to do yeah, that yeah, in the middle of the park. Yeah. In terms of make a pass and move into space to link up, to have good link up play in the middle of the park. What that against America? Probably. If he did it against America? Mm. You know, the main problem with that game is that Bobby D. Cardova Reed was so poor that he wasn't providing a passing option to have good link up play in the middle of the park. That's the problem. problem. But remember in a family, in a match, you know. Mm -hmm. We know we're no bad position in a match, you know, brother. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, the main reason was, I mean, I think was Speedy. Speedy and DJ were, were under a lot of pressure in that game, in my opinion. Oh, oh because God, of, man. Because of Bobby D. Cardova, it's poor play in the game. Oh, God, man. Yo, Tennessee. Tennessee, oh, God, man. In I Gold Cup, I said, yo, Speedy, you know, not wrong. When I check his stats for the tournament, man, check it, man. Check his you stats, man. The man play. passing and point, the man movement and point, the man intercept. The game look better. The game sharper when he's up on the field when he come on and I two match them until he start in a third match. Come on, man. Give my man a break. But, I, but, but listen, when was it, see? That game there. From Mr. Speed, he played up on the, the, the team line. I know that was that game there. No, but Flemings now have nothing to do with us losing, though. Flemings, Flemings have to do with us playing better. Flemings did get some chance to never. He here's the thing. He played selfishly in the game. I wouldn't say he played poorly. He played selfishly. In if he had made better if, uh, decisions, he would have been done much yeah. better. Yeah, you know, but but me, I don't find the formula. Mm -hmm. me, I mean, I understand on the point, you know, but but me, I always say, how you can go in a competition where you want to win with USL player, I play against man who are playing a top league. I agree, I agree. No, I'm gonna work out better. I think, I think both speedy and uh, I think especially Flemo is above the USL. I don't think Flemo is a USL player. But if they have family, I mean, people are here saying that, but if they are above it, they would, have, they would still be playing USL. You know why? The, the agent them poor. The agent them well, poor in my opinion. 
we look and blame it for the agent, but all right. Look man, all right then. Say a player like Lamar Walker, a young player. Mm-hmm. You see Lamar Walker go play in the MLS anytime soon? No, but he, he could play at a higher level in Europe. As as I said, Tennessee, we have to also mm-hmm. bear in mind that it's it's Lamar Walker might probably have the quality to play in the in the MLS, but the problem with Lamar Walker is I don't see him. While he could make more squads in the MLS, I don't see him as a starting level player in the MLS. And MLS teams are not going to take the few international spots they have to bring in a bencher. They're going to bring in somebody who is a sure starter. Giovanni Brown is younger than um, Lamar Walker. I, mean, I think they're about the same age. The same age. But Brown is a better player, no doubt. And that means I tell you, Pamela. You see, sometimes you can't push a man. No, it's, say, um, Brown is an MLS starting player, you know. While I believe, while I believe Walker could play in the MLS and could make most MLS squads, he's not an MLS starting player. Yes. Um, Brown and is an MLS think, starting player. Yes, mm-hmm. and I think because we can see players play at Jamaica and then good, you know. Mm-hmm. But when they go on the international stage, they look poor. True. Look poor. Because if I go look up, I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to Yeah. Even certain yeah. games, when they bring him on, even certain certain games, what makes them put on him? Walker. Me think that I'm going to give them to bring on. I agree. I don't know if you have a problem with Maggie or Maggie have a discipline problem, but I see Maggie as a better player than and, and, and Walker. By the way, let, let us, let us, who, who did say we did have to take out today? Well, I said I would take out Maria Pado and leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, leave. I did say, you, leave you agree leave. with that? You agree with that? I agree with that, but. The more bring Maria up. So the maga left Harding? Oh no, Brown we did say would I get left. Oh, Brown would say would I get left. Mm-hmm. Brown, we, we, we agreed that Brown would get left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Woo. I, I think I think I'm gonna go. I think Turgot, here's the thing with Paris. Based on what I saw of Paris both today and on other highlights and stuff like that and his stats and his, his accolades so far because two games in the out of the two out of the three games he had played before today, he had made mm-hmm. yeah, he was um he had made the team of the week in Slovenia. Mm-hmm. He was man of the match in both in two of the three games and he scored in two of the three games. And based on the highlights as well, too, he was doing well. And I saw him play today. And he looked really good. Paris looks yeah, like he yeah. could go to Scandinavia and play well. I think and he's moved soon, man. Yeah. And he's left footed. So that's why I would I'm gonna I'm gonna take out Turgot. Yeah. I gotta take out Turgot. I gotta take out Turgot. So that's five down and three to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. That is five down and three to go. Rough. Rough, Rough. man. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll take out other squad yeah. Because none of them meet people like that. But I'm going to take out Palmer still, you know. Palmer. I make, me not agree with you with that one that Tennessee. I don't me not agree. I wouldn't take out Palmer. I don't know if Palmer is going to get three sides. I last two times they call him in a show. Mm-hmm. But all right, you see the thing now with you see how I how I analyze that now, that situation. He is he is he is we are we're short in the number 10 position, and he is one of he's playing at the highest level out of any number 10 we have currently in this squad. He is well, playing at the highest level. Out of all of them, mm-hmm. so yes, he's not. He might not be 
you know, the best thing at that level right now in terms of mm -hmm. things are not so all that with him right now, Even especially towards the, the latter end of last season. Mm -hmm. But could he still do a job for us in that, in that particular? You know what? You know what? No, I wouldn't take out Palmer. Wouldn't take out Palmer. I take out Palmer and Speedy. One time. <laughs> because if Maggie I go, I take out Maggie. Hmm. If you're okay, Palmer, you have to take out Maggie. But who else you got to take out? You don't think we should have three, but D E R. You see, the thing now is DJ can play as a number 10 to you know. That me I try to tell you, and you can't leave DJ. But and we had yeah, Bobby as a we had Bobby as a, a, a right wing, mm -hmm. know, but we can't leave out Bobby either. No, you can't leave out Bobby. Bobby has to play. One of the me could see back the me could look back on the right wing spot again. The right wing. Oh. Bailey Campbell and Paris. We did already take out. We did already take out Campbell. Right now, the way I see it is either Paris or Palmer. Right now, in terms of the next one, we are going to take out, out of the team. Because Bobby can play where Paris plays as well and be the backup to Bailey on the right. You know what? Tennessee, Palmer or Palmer or Maggie. Or oh, Tennessee look like he's gone. Right now, people, it, it, it's Palmer or Maggie. You know what? I'm going to put Maggie in it. I'm going to take out, I'm going to take out Palmer. I'm going to take out Palmer. So, Paris still has survived. Par you know what? Yo, this is so tough, man. Paris still a hang on. Paris is still hanging on. Late na se Maggie, Shata se Maggie stays. At least Maggie makes himself available. Boy, people, this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. It's tough, man. It really, really, really tough. I take out six so far. I take out six so far. So two more we need don't know to narrow it down from 30 to, to 23. Me, me, <laughs> Because when you check it in, you know, the reason why I took out Palmer, you know, guys, is because Daniel Johnson can also play as a number 10. Ravel can play as a number 10. McGee can play as a number 10. Reed can play as a number 10. So that's why Palmer get left out for me. I think we should probably, but we already took out one of the CDMs. You know, honestly, that's the thing though. Neither Hector nor Mariapa will get left out of this squad. You know, honestly, I, I don't think Grant will make it either. When I think about it, I think Hector will make the cut over Grant. Let me put Grant on it as well. I don't think Grant will make it either. I don't think Grant will make it either. I honestly don't think 
you could also no mood and take out hardin. Mood and take out hardin. Late mood and take out hardin. Honestly, hardin can be an excellent utility player for us, you know. Mood and take out hardin. This man can play. This man is a championship level player, a championship level starter as a midfielder, right? Central midfielder, right midfielder, left midfielder, centre back, right back. No man, for a 23 man squad shot, we don't need four goalkeeper for a 20. A 23, we are try to cut it down to you know. Shata agree with me when I say, Shata, I feel you know Maggie, you know, Shata. I feel you know Maggie. Either Zan or Anderson. Tapa isn't going to trust Anderson at this point. No man, him half to trust Anderson. Anderson is a Lazio player, you know, man. Anderson is, let me tell you something, Anderson is a Serie A standard player, you know. I mean, it might not can start for your Lazio, but no, I mean, and this not for being right. Late, I agree with me, and me, me would never pick a squad right now and leave out Anderson out of it. Me would have, me, me have to take out Grant. Me, me not think Grant are going to make it. Because when it boils down to Hector Grant, I feel like Hector going to make the cut over Grant. So one more player we need to take out now, guys. One more player. One more player. One more player, guys. One more player. Who would you guys take out? Out of all the players that we just listed. Because boy, tough man, it's tough. Let me see. Shamar volunteers to leave the squad. Yeah, man, Shamar. Yeah, still here, man. Yeah, man, we're still here, man. We're still here, man. We just we, we, we moved on to another topic of discussion. Yeah, man, yeah, man, we're still live, man. We're still finish it up though. Shata says Shamar volunteers to leave the squad. Yeah, man, we kind of made it made it leave out Nicholson too. Made it squeeze out Nicholson. All right. So let, let me finish it up now. Let me finish it up. I would put that CDM. I think we took out Cousins. We took out Grant. Right? So we took out Cousins and we took out Grant. So that leaves Stuart and Hector. All right. Stuart. And Hector. Check out Hector out of back line. So the, the CDMs will be Stuart and Hector. The number eight now. The number eight. The number eight will be you know, from our perspective here at the Formula Sports. So we, we went with Speedy Williams, because I think Speedy will be in it. Speedy, well, obviously we have to go with Ravel first. Ravel is the first, is probably the first name on the team sheet. Ravel, Speedy, and we did go with Johnson. All right, so those are the the number eight. Right, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more player to take out of this. Low can play on the right, and hmm, you know what? I think in the end, Paris. I think in the end, Paris will get squeezed out. I think in the end, I'm going to take off Paris. I think in the end, Paris, even, even Antonio can play on the right too. You know, Paris just gets squeezed out. Paris hang on to the first. So Paris is the last person out. So let me drop this. Let me drop the squad now. Paris is the last person out. 
Let me see quickly if you guys say anything in the comment section. Villa fans saying Bailey will bring Villa to sixth place. Really? Hmm. Is there a rule to say, but I mean, I mean Bailey alone can, I, I can Aston Villa, the rest of players need to step up. Is, is there a rule that say there must be three goalkeepers? Could just go with two. I don't think it's wise to go with two goalkeepers. You yeah, see, so the thing with outfield players, you can go with two outfield players in a respective position because you can always find somebody else who can be a makeshift just in case both are down from an outfield player um, standpoint. From a goalkeeper standpoint, it's only, it's only, you can only have three, you can only, I mean, it's very difficult to take an outfield player and throw him into goal. Even though we have seen it happen, it's, it's not wise. It's ideal to have three specialist goalkeepers in a 23-man squad. It's that, 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 so I understand what you're saying, but I, I, I don't think it's wise to bring two goalkeepers to a, 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 a tournament. Two, um, you know, goalkeepers to a tournament. All right, so the CDMs are, the number is are Ravel, Speedy, and Johnson. Left wing is, uh, um, we're going to go with Low and Antonio. We're going to go with Low and Antonio. Antonio. Um, you know what? Let me do the let me do the something there first. Let me do the um number ten position first. Number ten. Um, so that will be Maggie Palmer Reed. Now we did we did lift out case, you know, we did we did yeah, so Maggie and Reed. You know what? Maggie. And uh, let me put Johnson as a number 10. Let me put Johnson as a number 10. And take Johnson out of from the number 8 slot. Let me put Johnson as a number 10. All right, so Johnson and Maggie. Left wing, low and Antonio. Right wing, Bailey and um. Right wing, Bailey. Leon Bailey and D card over Reed. Bobby. And as the centre forward now. We're going to put Roof and Burke. Roof and Burke. Let me see what's the number on this now. Um, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Let me just recount it again just to, just to make sure. So Blake Barnes, Taylor, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. All right. This is the squad at the Formula Sports now, guys. This is what we think will be the. Oh yeah, it never come out too right at all. So you see the roof there. So it ended. What at me cut off? So this is the squad. The goalkeepers, Blake, Barnes, Taylor. Left back, Lawrence and Bell. Center back, Low Pinnock. Oh, that's why it cut off because I have, have Low 
Hold on, something not right, you know. Something not right, something not right. Hold on, one second. May have low name twice. No, man, no. <laughs> what happened? It cut off, it cut off. Hold on, I think I did something wrong here. I think I had Lowe's name twice. You know what I do, guys? Oh, oh, I see what happened now. I meant to say more, more, more is all right. Is more I meant to put. Sorry, guys. More I went to put. So it is Blake Barnes Taylor for the goalkeepers, Lawrence and Bell for the left back. Center backs is more. More Pinnock, Low, Mariapa. Right backs is Anderson and Harding. CDMs is Stewart and Hector. Number eight is Ravel, Speedy, and the number 10 is Johnson, McGee. Left wing low, Antonio, right wing Bailey, Bobby, center forwards, Roof and Burke. Roof and Burke. Now, man, Layton, what I mean is, is more, is more I'd meant to put. I put low instead of more by accident. Right? So that's the formula sports, sports 23 man squad. Right, um, some pretty hard, some pretty hard choices, but you know, that's what we came up here. That's what we came up with here. That's the ones we think will make it. So I don't think Anthony Grant will make it. I think Hector will make it over Grant. Right, we left out some. Will Turgot leaving out Turgot Nicholson Gray Palmer? You know, it was pretty tough. You know. But yeah, that's our squad, guys. That's our that's what that's what we think will be the squad. You know, or that would be our squad rather. You know, if we were if we were the coach, which we obviously are not, you know, we that's the squad we will pick. So guys, you know, thanks for being here. You know, we we went a little bit longer than we an, an, had anticipated because initially, yeah, man, Leon Bailey plays for Jamaica, man. He plays for Jamaica. So we went a little bit longer than we had originally anticipated. Right? This was initially supposed to be a Kahim Paris watch along. Right? But it has turned, we, we decided because we, you know, we, the, the, the time, we had a lot of time. And you guys know I normally do my live. On, on Sunday afternoon. So I just said I would I would, you know, do do um my normal schedule thing that we normally do at 3 30. And we are, we did plan from last week that we're gonna pick the squad today as well. But should I did call Alex because Alex did want to we did would have wanted to be a part of this too. I just I just remembered about it. Right so guys you know that's it. <laughs> Is roof starting up top lately? <laughs> roof, not oof. It just, it just because the text was too big, it just cut off. All right, so guys, you know that's it from us here. You know, Kahim Paris did well earlier on today. He had one assist for sure that we know of, right? The other play might have been an assist as well, right? But you know, um, Kahim Paris did well for FC Copper earlier on today. And, you know, we just put up the squad that we think will be the 23-man squad that will that we would go with, right, for the upcoming World Cup qualifiers. So, guys, you guys have been here for a long time. With Mexico prediction, shut up. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to, I think we lose 2-1. Even though that, that's a while from now, but... You know, let's see what happens. And the squad not drop it either. So is it wise to do a, a, a Mexico prediction right now? Let's wait. For right now, I'd probably go 2-1. Sadly, I have to be objective. Right, 2-1 with us losing. But let's see what happens. Let's see. Look, let's look at the squad when it is picked, right? You know, who knows? Probably we'll have a surprise or two in the squad. So, guys, thanks for being here with us. You know, all this time. Shata especially has been here for a very long time, man. Leighton, I mean, Dean, Aston Villa, I see a number of people. Right? Tennessee was on earlier with us. 
and also also my spin on the ball right was here with us as well and we were we were talking some ball so thanks to all those who viewed the panelists and also the commenters as well much appreciated you know and we, we're going to continue to do more reggae boy watch alongs and also you know we have our lives on sunday afternoon so guys stay safe take care and until next time